What is going on, gamers and freaking goons? I already see some stinky in the chat. That's good to see. Welcome back. Day number two of playoffs is coming at you. Got a little quarter. No, semi. No, wait, what is it? I think it's the semi. A little semi. Semi oh. means eight, you know, so a little semi playoff action for you guys. We got our League of Legends team in the GG League's playoff. Hitting it strong. Cameron University, the pickaxes coming at you. Going hard on this game. We're ready for it. Our boy Corey is feeling a little down, a little under the weather. Uh, it is raining outside, so we got our boy Reese hopping in on us today. How's you guys going, have seen guys? him before, so not no no new faces today. But uh, I apologize for the abusive mods. Oh boy, we're already having some mod abuse in the chat. Might have to remove those powers, but we'll see. Yikes. We'll see. We'll leave that for uh, for another time. We got some new music coming at you guys. A little LCS music action. I figured, you know, we got a big league game. We got to have some big league music coming at you. So. Uh, got some new music. We got uh, two stickers on the playoff microwave. We got a drink that we're not supposed to have in frame. Oh. Uh, we got the Red Bull fridge. Hyped with Red Bull. Probably going to have a pop of Red Bull just to start up. Uh, ready for that. Where's the graphic at? Uh, you guys did not give us all the information fast enough. And we also don't have a picture of Seth. So uh, we will get that for you guys next week. All you have to do is win the game this week. Easy peasy, yeah, right? Easy dubs. Win your game easy and then we get a graphic next week. Easy, easy sickle mode. Oh, 83 seconds. Raleigh tossed me a Red Bull. There you go, guys. Just, just getting that Red Bulls, you know. Everybody in the arena's got to get hype. Can we get a, a Subway sandwich, fam? Oh, lol. Dude, I love me some Subway. Not going to lie. Bacon and cheese action? No, no, no. We, we're only Jimmy John's in this household right now. <laughs> Jimmy John's is what won us the game last night, and I stand by that. Mm, okay, okay, okay. We, we, I literally like said that, and I don't know what happened, and and then I was like, we, we, we started getting scored on when I mentioned Subway, okay, okay, okay. and then I was like, you know, Jimmy Johns is better. As I'm saying it, Kobe scores yep. a goal. So yep. I'm like, all right, clearly they want Jimmy Johns to win for us. So we just started Jimmy Johns spamming, won us the game. I mean, they got that freaky fast service. So. Freaky fast, freaky fresh, won us the game. Absolute W. We are looking into a sponsorship as we speak because, I mean, it carried the team for us. It was huge. All right. You have that on screen, Mr. Zach, if you don't want... There you, there you go. Cool. So he's getting that uh, pro draft ready for us. JJ Household, that kind of looked like Fortnite. It's the dude from Fortnite. But um, I have big expectations for this game. Uh, Cameron University, I believe, is 7-1 and one or 6-1. and one, And we are 4-3. and three. Three. Um, So they definitely have the record advantage. But uh, there's more than eight teams in our division. And so... Theoretically, they could have like a better record, but play worse teams. Yep, yep, um, and so, I'm not really worried about it. I think with what we saw last week, with the absolute stomping we delivered in games one and three, yep. not so much in two, but in the, in one and three, we look we look good. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I'm excited. We got a big game coming ahead of us. Seth playing next to me, so I got a sneak preview. Absolute W's. Gonna know what's going on ahead of time. But yeah, we're gonna have good intel from Reese coming at you. I'm gonna try my best to keep up. I've been I've been grinding the lead, trying to stay on top of all this stuff. So I'm getting I'm getting to it. Uh, it's a tough game, you know. Son of a gun, it's a tough. Well, and so of course, the like I started for like two months, and then they added in like mythic items. So oh, I yeah. had to like yep. relearn yep. how that all that a, worked. That was a big reset. Yeah, if that you was got in huge. just before that, then that was a bad time to get in. I thought Seth got a picture last year. So Seth did get a picture last year, and I have a physical version of it. Uh, but when I went through the folder, all of those pictures from the Overwatch team weren't in the folder. I messaged Curtis, and Curtis is like, uh, I don't know where they're at. And I was like, uh, I don't know where I'm at. And so we weren't able to get Seth in um, in time for that graphic. But, again, we will have that in for you guys next week. And or, minimally, we'll have, like, an after-game graphic. Like, hey, GG's, you know, we'll put that graphic out. But just unlucky timing on when we were able to get those team pictures in. So, stinky happens, you know. So we'll get to them, though. But... Um, definitely by next week. All you have to do is win this game, and you guys will have a fat graphic coming out from Mr. Zach. Seth is just a man of mystery, you know. Like, yeah. like maybe, Keep maybe him, on your toes. him himself who went in and went. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cause some problems Boop, here. Delete. Yep. 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 That, that I can see that. Could have happened. That. Honestly, could have. Uh, chat. We do have some spicy news. Uh, Zach and I did put in some new uh, hires for some designers on some new um, graphic T-shirts for the arena. Big designs coming at you guys. Uh, we hired him out last night, though, so um, it might take a couple of days to get that design finalized. But Zach, Zach and I finalized two designs ourselves. 
and then we've got two more coming in from some spicy designers so uh, we are going to try and have those to you guys before a uh, nice way to spell merch Mer correctly Mer pog merch Mer 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 action uh, we will try and have those to you guys though pretty quick um, but check out our website exclamation point merch I don't know what Zach's doing he clicked on that link nice <laughs> Uh, today's streaming setup is brought to you by us. Uh, we got, of course, me and Reese casting it out. Mr. Zach is double running computers. He's running our entire computer and he's running the streaming computer. Um, and then we've got our boy Jacques Jean Jacquees, the lumberjack, in the uh, in the mod chat. And we got, I believe, Larson also modded out there. Pokey Crafting modding out there. So we got a lot of homies helping us out today. Big W's here. Uh, Mr. Alberto walked in, so maybe I want to get him on that Towers Lobby action. I don't know. We'll see what he's up to. Yeah, so, like, here's the thing, guys. We don't have a mouse or keyboard physically in front of us. Yep. Everything right now is being yep. run by Zach. We are in so, the hands of Zach. Yeah. So, we, if we something goes look, wrong, we may be the faces. our hands are up. That's it. We may be the faces, but the real mastermind is yep. over here off The rest screen. of the body, that's on Zach. Zach's got all the arms. So, guys, I got my vaccine related today. Have you heard of the Xbox Series X and the Xbox Series X game <laughs> from Microsoft? Oh, my goodness. Hey, way to get your vaccine though. Hey, biggest W coming out of the vaccine besides not getting COVID, a free donut every single day for yes. the rest of 2021. Yep. That is so, how many donuts is that chat? That's... First one to tell me how many donuts that is, I will give them one of my donuts Pretty from my COVID donuts. vaccine. Ooh, we're getting in a pro draft here. Heading into a little pro draft action. First band. Can we get a little, little zoomy zoom action on this? Hovering over the heck room already. Yeah. Well, we talked to Caleb pre-game and he basically said, if they let my heck room through, that is the GG easy game. And, uh, yeah, there, yeah, there no, it is, first ladies band, and gents. First, first band, insta, insta, What are you doing? Just zoom the webpage in. <laughs> zoom the webpage. Just zoom the webpage. Zach's a goofball, chat. He's messing with my, my screen. Oh, he's got his... 267 donuts, bruh. That's bruh, a lot of donuts. That's, that's so many donuts. That, how, how many... All right. Uh, there I'll you go. Himself. That was All so right. hard. Mr. Math. Divide it by 12. Find how many d dozens of donuts that is. And then divide it by 13. How many baker's dozen donuts that is? Oh, baker's dozen. 22, there you and, go. A, 22 and a quarter. All right. That's, that's a lot, many, of, that's, that's that's a lot of boxes. Of that's yeah, a lot of boxes. Exactly. That's what I was saying. Like, that's a Jeez. lot of boxes of donuts. Bro, whatever I put on, this, this is nice. Yeah. This is a good song. Uh... It looks like Simo failed to lock in a ban there, so we'd have to go over to the chat to see what it actually is. Um, however, oopsie whoopsie. It looks like they're gonna. You get the ribbon top. Yeah, I was gonna ban. say ban out the ribbon top. Well, ribbon uh, is very impressive. We didn't have much, a lot of time, so we're gonna check the op.gg for this team after the bans and then see how accurate we were. So there you go. I'll uh, wear a fake mustache and glasses. Lol. <laughs> I'm sure with uh, you know the coaching and staff on hand for for the Sino league that they didn't do you know a terrible job in all this however sometimes they throw in something kind of spicy kind of random just trying to you know figure yeah, things yeah. out so. i like it i like it you will see first first lock in on the elise likely jungle i can't imagine it's going anywhere yeah, else no i doubt it i would sincerely doubt that chat scuffed nah chat's not <laughs> scuffed silly boys oh it is scuffed zach was moving on the screen i'm dead imagine chat fix chat fix Rally, can we get a hot take? Yeah, of course. I I love throwing out hot takes. Um, the, the I think the band we miss is a volley bear. Gotcha. Volley, all right. Solid. Volley band. Volley. Um, so that's probably volley top. We do get the shin lock in and the Jarvin lock in. Uh, we have seen both of these picks before from Simo. Um, can, Raleigh, can we get a hot dog? Uh, no, I don't have any hot dogs. Um, a hot take. What is a hot take that I have? What, what's your hot, hot take? take? I don't think Fortnite is a bad game. Oh. I think it's honestly one of the most interesting um, and exciting competitive games to watch. Um, I think the level of also that's that's a hot take in itself. I think Fortnite is a good game at any level. Second hot take is that I think we will eventually reach a point where traditional sports cannot compete with the intensity and the excitement that it, that esports create. Uh, yeah, I think so, I think so. At the end of the day, there is just not enough capabilities of traditional sports to create such dramatic narratives. Not only narratives around like a team, but like in game, things that happen will just always be more exciting than things that are yep. going on traditional yep. sports. Yep. I think that will, that, that will happen very soon. I didn't say right now, but like, 
the consistency of esports to make more hype events than like it took the Blues how many years to win a to win a Stanley Cup and then have like several interesting games, but like that was like so long. But like every year we see some Korean League Legends team just do some bl mind blowing stuff Definitely. and it's just nuts. So we do get the Vig. Oh, brother! This is going to be brother. a spicy game. This is a spicy game with Mr. Seth on the Viego. Ah, uh, hold. The Jarvan pick. We the last time we saw Caleb's Jarvan was uh, against a really hard team because we we basically like it, it was a quick game, um, which isn't which isn't to say that's because of his Jarvan, um, but he didn't get to really represent. His no, Jarvan no, no. play well. I've seen his um, Jarvan play well, and let me tell you, uh, he gets some support from his team. and Sick, nasty. Yeah, definitely. So I'm excited about the Jarvan pick. The dives are huge. The shin, we've seen Caleb go nasty on the shin. We've actually, I don't think we've seen Seth play Viego in GG League. I have I seen him play Viego, and let me tell you, if he starts, if he's, if he gets that ball rolling on Viego, yeah, it's yeah. not going to stop. New, new snowball inbound. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. My hot take, Battle Royale is an inherently anti-esports genre and will die this decade. Um, Interesting. Disagree. Uh, yeah, I don't agree. I think there are mechanics, not mechanics, but um, ways they are played that needs to be handled by the tournament before they are um, able to be played competitively, as in, like, stream sniping, um, grudge fights, and then, like, just general like things like that but i think conceptually they work well enough obviously like games like cs games like valorant games like league where like you know what is what could happen is a lot more um standard and a lot easier to follow as an esport um yeah like the R I, I get the rng of battle royales but also like most of the if you watch like pro fortnite at like the highest level like they know I land here, there's six chests, they're gonna drop me statistically probably this, and I'll land and get this. Like, they yeah. know how their rotation people, went off to where it's not super heavy RNG. People, like, actually professionally playing it, like, they know what, like, what the odds are, and, like, that's the thing. Like, he was saying, like, statistically it's gonna be like this. Yeah. And it's, like, it's a crazy amount of numbers to run, and, like, you have to know yeah. the game very well, and that's why they're the professionals, though. I like, mean, there's, there's no way I would ever be able to do that. No, for sure. There's definitely more RNG in a battle royale than there is in League. Like, I'm building the same items, I'm moving the same spot, I'm killing the same Krugs, like whatever, that's the same. But there's also the fact that so many different things could happen is also the intriguing part. Yep. So Look, you can have the whole lobby land tilted towers and go sicko mode, <laughs> and that would be nuts. Oh, we will see a Nico bot lane um, into a Caitlyn, into a Caitlyn Nautilus bot. Um, I'm interested to see what Chandler locks here uh, to help out with that Nico. With being able to last pick his, oh well, I guess. What am I? What am I looking at here? All right, uh, probably Silas top, okay. and Lucian mid. They could okay. flip flop that. At least it's probably jungle, but it it will be Caitlyn Nautilus. Okay, spot. so I was okay. So I was writing that. I've seen technically I've seen the Lucian bot, but I think obviously a little bit better of a mid player. So, um, um, yeah. Let's see what Chandler locks in here. I'm wondering what this this fourth ban yeah, was. Yeah, I was gonna to say be. another miss ban by Simo. The thing about Pro Draft is like in, in the Simo or in League of Legends lobbies, right? He gets to zero and you still got a couple seconds to lock in. Yeah. Pro, in Draft, Pro Draft zero is like instant yeah, yeah, gone. Yeah. So like if you're still trying to like, as long as you're like moving your mouse in League, it'll like yeah. give you a little bit. Of time. But like here, it's like if you're chatting about like what what yeah, you want to yeah, ban, and then yeah. like you're trying to find that champion out of like the 140 whatever champions yeah, there yeah, are. Yeah. Like, yeah. Five, it's just, like nah. so. But also, it's better doing it here than like actually. Miss, miss locking yep. something in the client and having to restart the entire tournament. Yep. That, that, yep. that would suck. So, um, All right, so we got our picks locked in. We did see a Chandler locking in that Leona. That was loud. What was loud? Point to fear. What's oh, loud? the game client. Big the boy league, league, the league client. Okay. <laughs> super loud. I have oh. my league client on my computer turned like way down yeah, because yeah, it can't yeah. get really loud. Same. So we are going to see these starting to go locked in. Uh, we will get to see what that fourth, the second and that fourth band. So we knew the second one's going to be Volley Bear. We will get to see what that fourth band is going to pop off to be. Doesn't super matter, but um, yeah, I'm, I, I think uh, I think we got away with some good picks. Yeah, no, uh, it's a it's a spicy draft. Spicy um, draft. But Sima has been playing kind of that that kind of way in practices and stuff. So they play it right. They play it like they've been doing in practice. Uh, I think they can get an easy W. Did you turn down the lead client? They said it's double our voice. Okay, Pog. Um, 
Okay, we're getting the bands locked in. Mr. Alberto is getting a TV set up. Out of boy. Love this. No, you're not doing it. Okay, wow. You're throwing. <laughs> huh? Didn't you do it last time? Uh, interesting. Whatever, Thanks. dude. That sounds that sounds super fake. I'm spelling like Raleigh tonight. Hey, I don't I don't auto check my or spell check my uh my text basically ever. All right, M Mr. Mr. Alto himself. Just saying, Dota 2 had near four times bigger prize pool than LoL last year. It's also Think like about a that. way older game. That, that, yeah, I was going to say, Dota's been around longer. However, League has the way bigger following. Like, like people yeah. go hype over Worlds every year. Yeah, yeah. Like, thousands of people come. I, right? I agree with that. Like, I Millions think it's watched more, but I don't think it's earned more. Yeah. No. Um, but I also think we will see it pass it. I, I think so as well. But... Another thing to consider is like it's a worldwide organization and the the people that they actually like Contract their contracts can go for way more than a lot of other games. Yeah. Yeah, like like Talking about faker. I know fakers passes. We did have a cled ban on that fourth man there. So but, um, all right, Cled's the last man. So lots, lots of top bands. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm assuming that means that their stylus player in the top is yeah. pretty good. We'll have we'll player. have a uh, three minutes to check over their oak.gg in between this uh, to see kind of how accurate we were, who we're trying to ban out, kind of thing. LOL, this man actually said Dota 2 has been out longer than League. League is literally based on Dota. They say, literally saw Dota and were like, let's make a game better than that, say, and then they I'm made. Ninety percent certain that Dota maybe 2, not Dota 2, but like Dota the original yeah. definitely was the basis of what Dota they made. All right, clown. Drink an RGB every time Raleigh says cracked or insane. Yeah, I don't know what an RGB what's a, is. What's an R you want me to drink LED lights? I a hate red that. Red Gamer Bowl. I hate that. Are you, do you mean an R RB, maybe? Uh, but yes, regardless, here we go. Uh, top to bottom, let's just look at the lineup um, without looking at ranks first, and let's see what we think here. Um, top lane, just off character picks, what do you got? All right, Silas can be very aggressive with his abilities. Shen can also be aggressive or defensive. Okay. Based on the rest of the team comp, uh, I'm going to say either Jarvan or Shen is going to go more like damage than okay. tank, just because we have a Leona in the bot lane. Okay. So if it's the Shen, Shen can pull off the dub against the Silas. Uh, if it's the Jarvan though, and Shen's just going tank, Shen's just going to sit under the tower, and it's going to feel really bad. Okay. But at least he's going to form out. Okay. So I think it's leaning more towards the Silas, and I think that's how top goes. Okay, jungle. Jungle. Um, both the Jarvan and Elise can be early game. Elise is definitely more early game. She's also AP. So if Jarvan's going to build tank and go for that, uh, you know, that defense against the rest of the team. He's going to feel really bad if Elise can jump on top of him. Gotcha. So I think in that re regard, uh, jungle is going to go pretty much even unless they start 1v1-ing a lot. Okay. And if they start 1v1-ing, it's going to depend on who's jumping on who. Okay. Who uh, starts the fight. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. So if you're going in first, you're going to win. If not, yeah, it's going to feel really bad. Okay. Uh, mid lane? Mid lane. Lucian, very, very fast, very mobile boy. Uh, also has a range advantage against Viego. True. So I think it's going to feel bad for the first couple levels. But once once a gank comes in, like from from Caleb or or yeah, the Elise, yeah. either way, uh, Viego can start popping off and has the potential to one v two for sure. So I think laning wise, the Lucian ends up winning it. Okay. If if they if they get help though, and like the actual game state changes, I think Viego wins it. Gotcha. Bot lane. Bot lane. Very interesting because they both have tank engaged champions. Nautilus and Leona kind of do the same thing. Mm -hmm. uh, Nico and Caitlyn both have a have a root and they both can do lots of damage. Um, I don't know actually. That's that's a, that's a toss up. They toss up. All right, cool. So, so we got the looks here. Let's see if we get that oak.gg for the other team. Kind of see what we were thinking on the pick and bands. Um, all right, back to us. Uh, fight me, kid. Uh, I'm not gonna click that link. That's probably spam. That's probably uh. No, that's a chess game. Yeah, that seems. That seems really good. All right, so top lane we got a gold two. We got a oopsies. We got a diamond four mid laner, silver two, silver one bot lane, plat three bot lane, and then a diamond one mid laner. So it looks like we're probably gonna have the diamond four is gonna be our jungler. Um, it looks like they also play Viego, um, which that, if that doesn't tell you Viego, it's probably busted. Uh, we do, yeah. So that's pretty heavily a top laner, um, plat three bot laner. So this team is definitely higher ranked than us um, across the board. A couple diamonds. Yeah, that um, diamond one. Kind of scary. Kind, yeah, of, kind of spooky. That's sick nasty. So 
It looks like they will be the... What are they? Yeah, are so they the jungler? This, this is one of those teams where it's like they mainly play different roles in their ranked games. Yeah. And it kind of throws you off. Because like right you here, know you know can see, yeah, you have two bot laners and two mid laners. So yep. you don't know who's going support, who's going jungle, like who's going where. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you have the top. And I think that's why Simo you know, primarily banned out top lane yep. bans, yep. along with the fact that he's gold, which is a lot lower ranked than these other guys. So making a, you're, you're digging a deeper hole for them to get into. Yeah, him. gotcha. So like th this, this, this bot laner is silver one. Uh, that, that's obviously worse than gold, mm -hmm. but that might be a smurf account. It also might be kind of weird trying to throw him in because yeah. you don't know where he's going. You don't know if he's actually playing bot lane. Gotcha. So if you if you pick on a worst player on the team, like the gold, and you know for sure where his You can at least is, bully one lane. Yeah, you can sure. at least bully one lane. So when if, if Myron pops off against the Silas, yeah. I think it's going to be real fun to watch. I also think, too, the higher you go in any game, I feel like the more comfy you are just overall. Yep. And so, like, I'm Diamond 4. I've probably played enough to be like, oh, I got picked off. I'll just play this guy and be yep. okay. So yep. fighting one, it's like, oh, you're going to kind of be hard stuck on a couple of champs. Let's ban them out super hard. And then we, we've get made a really big advantage definitely. for ourselves to definitely. play through. Definitely. So I definitely like that. That gives us a lot of insight on why we saw such heavy top bans um, rather than just going heavy bans against, you know, a couple Diamond players because you're, you're spreading your, your bans too thin to get a good advantage there. Yep. Did you make a post in the Discord? Because I definitely didn't. You want to make that for us? Ah, huh? Pog, you can do that. I will allow you. All right, chat. We are loading into the game as we speak. A little ninety-five percent action coming at you. Yeah. What do you think of this music? Japanese electro progressive house hit. Absolute banger. Yeah. What ranks are our players? Uh, I think I don't remember if anyone's still gold or not. Uh, but we range gold to diamond, I believe Caleb is. Gotcha. And so Caleb hit diamond now. Uh, I think so. Awesome. He, awesome. he has last rank. Uh, if oh. not, he's right there. I think gotcha. he was talking like he was still plat one. I definitely think so. we've all like leveled into like yeah. a lot, like a lot higher yeah. of a plat. So Raleigh is wood three. Uh, wood. I actually haven't finished my promos, but uh, I'm bronze three, so not wood. I'm out of iron already, which is huge for me. Yeah, no one wants to be an iron. Oh, definitely not. So no one wants. I uh, to be an I haven't iron. I haven't played them all though. But if I play them all and I can keep going W's, I might I might climb out. You know, we'll see. Bronze one at the moment. Nice, Dude, nice. You're so close. You're right there get to silver, silver, baby. Let's get it. Into silver. Okay, but, but get like, into silver and then get yeah, out of it and go to gold. I mean. Easy like, peasy mode. Like silver, like going from bronze to gold, so quick. Get it. 96%. We've moved up one whole percent into this lobby. That's an Let's absolute go. W. Let's go. One percent at a time, you know? Hey, you gotta take it slow. Wait, am I reading this microwave correctly? It's 252. Right, apparently it's 252. I don't know if it's AM oh, okay, or PM. I can change that. Uh, 725. Raleigh fails to click microwave buttons. Joke's on him, it's all a sticker. <laughs> oh, that's no, why. Okay. Uh, microwave go bird chat. That's all I can say. Imagine not already being able to see uh -huh, the I, I did it. I did it. I did right, it. Jack's just living in the future. So if he says something in chat, ignore him. True. He's lying. <laughs> he's actually not telling the truth. All right. Let's go ahead and get this uh, Spotify off here. We want to hear game action only. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, just kidding. Lol. All right. All right Spotify's into the game. faded out. We have game audio. Maybe please. Ubu. Can I have the game audio, please? Uh, it looks like we're going to see, you know, very you group have to out, You fight. have to step okay. into the bush. That's a flash. Oh, oh big fight here. We're going to see Nautilus flashing out. We're going to see Mr. Viega. Oh, at least that's still we'll get a blood. kill. But we, I think that's, we'll trade back on the Silas. We will trade on the Nautilus. So big two Ooh. for one. Three for three. This is a very interesting. Holy, what a fight. An absolute brawl. We're going to see a two for one. two. The flash, though. Ooh, and then we're going to see the instant teleport back in. I think we will see Caleb maybe get a pick here. All right. We do see a two for two fight there. Three for two. And it was just bait. All right. It was, it was, was, nice. was already that calculated, was nice. planned. So a four for three fight to finish off that in, initial engage. Absolute rampage off the bat. I think Simo uh, definitely comes away with that as the victor. Oh, for sure. I mean, we up a kill. We fed two kills to Shin early lane, and we fed Kenna a kill bot lane. Barely. Uh, it's it's there, but very yes. quiet. Try and uh, turn up in voice. Oh, we're getting a little. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So Give it something else I want to point out, right? Uh, the top laner, their Silas, 
burned his teleport to come back. He did not get a kill. Risky. And now Caleb, he's down three. Caleb did not yep. use his teleport. Didn't have to do anything. So, so he Caleb, definitely still has TP Caleb's advantage. Caleb's up and kills, he's up and, he's, yeah, and he's up sums. That's huge. Uh, we definitely like to see that. Uh, Jarvid picks up a kill there, which is nice. He's and three assists. Kenna picks up three assists. Chandler picks up three assists. So uh, overall, W's coming out of scene. But we fed those kills perfectly to the lanes. I think we want to advance. Uh, we already knew coming into this we want to bully that top lane, and he's up, he's down two kills yep. already. That's huge. Uh, so the the negatives coming from that though, uh, mid lane, the Lucian got a kill. Lucian, you know, he's got boots now, so he's even faster, even harder to hit with that melee Viego. Oh, you go this way. That's what I'm trying to uh, so, so that that might be something that the that Lucian takes advantage of. Yep. Also, the two two of the other kills went to the Elise. Elise is incredibly early game. She falls off later, but like early game, she can do so much damage, <laughs> and yeah. like you just you don't realize how much damage she can do, and you think you're fine. Suddenly, you got a spider jumping on your face, yeah. and it feels real bad. So her, so she's gonna be looking to try and advance, give her lead to other people yep. while she has it. Yep. Kind of yep. Thing. Uh, so we are on a three-minute delay from the game, but us and you guys are not on delay. So me to you, me to chat is not delayed, uh, but us to the game has a three-minute in-game spectator delay. You're so, alive. Um, yep, so the game will end three minutes before we know it, which is fine, um, because that means we are active with chat, which I like a lot more. Yep. Uh, Viego mid, is that meta? Uh, I would assume so, yeah. Yes, I, we've seen that meta. quite a bit. Technically a jungler, but um, also played mid quite a bit. And that's, that's the reason... Uh, Kenna's playing an AP bot laner with, with the Nico, just because we need AP somewhere on the team. And Caleb is definitely a lot more effective with his AD jumblers. As you see can Jarvin see diving in here, get a nice little, Oh, Caleb will take the pick there. He's going to try and get the Elise, will not get the Elise. So we did see a double jungler gank with Simo coming out on top on that pick. Yeah, Elise is a little late there. And once she got there, her teammate was already dead. Uh, so big for Simo. It that. wasted her time, yep. and she got nothing from it. Love to see that. So, uh, when you're picking a team, what is the usual split that you will go for AP versus AD? All right. So, it's it's not like a ne like a necessarily you know overall split. Okay. As long as you have a mix of both, that way like a tank can't just build one item AP or like just, one AD. Yeah. yeah gotcha, because gotcha. otherwise, otherwise you're just gonna build armor or like uh, magic resist, and it's gonna feel really bad because no one can damage. No him. one can kill him. Gotcha. So even even like right now, the only source of AP really on the team is coming from Kenna. Mm -hmm. So even if uh, like a tank, like if the Nautilus goes all like uh, armor, yep, she she, she can walk up still and just explode him, him. Yeah. exactly. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get predictions in. We will go for first dragon as the prediction. Uh, we already passed first blood in that initial fight, which was nuts, uh, and we passed the first eight eight kills in, in that fight basically. So uh, we'll look for first dragon on that first prediction. We'll toss a minute on that. Hopefully, please, Mister Jacques Jean Jacques. He'll get that in there for you guys. I like Swain or Seraphine APC. Uh, Seraphine, one of the meta APCs. Uh, however, that was a second ban. I hate uh, Swain. We've seen we've seen Seraphine banned out almost every game uh, in the recent weeks. Here's my hot take: Swain needs to be taken out of the game. <laughs> Ooh, that is a big hot take. dive from the Leona. That is a hot take. All right, jump into this prediction, guys. First dragon is up now. Uh, claim it to be yours. We are gonna see a big fight. Caleb will go down here from the Lucian, but it looks like we're doing some mad work in that bot lane. Uh, Chandler's going to try and make his way out. Ken, Ken is trying to fry down the other ADC. Uh, we will see a double kill on the Viego. Ken is looking to try and pick this Nautilus with Chandler, keeping them both alive. Ken will get the pick on the Nautilus. She's going to look to try and pick off this Caitlyn, or at least stagger her back under tower. Trading back and forth. The Elise finally uh, did what she probably should have done, uh, going mid where the power already was instead yep. of trying to go save our top lane. And as you can yep. see, the, the, the Lucian Elise, both of them were ahead, and they were both strong earlier on. Yep. So they they kind of wipe the floor with them. Does Lucian fall off as heavy no, as No, Lucian Lucian is pretty, you know, stable throughout the game. Okay. The the only reason he's played mid a lot is simply because he has like uh, like his basic attacks still do damage whereas okay. most mages don't. Okay. And he can also dodge. Like he has an ability that's yeah, literally just he, a dash. Whoop. So okay. mages go up against him to like use their combo or something. Yeah. He dashes out of the way of it and then they they're out of stuff and he can still basic out attack. Out of stuff. Uh are we winning? So if you look at the top of the screen, way up here, uh, compare the numbers, and if more of the numbers are above the other team's numbers, then they're probably doing better. But League is such a fickle game, the numbers do not matter at the end of the day. One play can literally entirely change the game. Very true. Uh, so those middle numbers there next to the sword, those are kills. kills. So, you know, right now the pickaxes are up seven. Uh, the next is the, the total amount of gold on the team, so it's pretty even. 200 gold isn't that much. Um, and then the last one are towers that have fallen. 
The whole point of the league is to, you know, take out the enemy's towers, yep. march into their base, and blow it up. Yep. Raleigh, just say yes or no, you dweeb. That helps you with nothing. Yes or no, are we winning? Technically, no, we are not winning, but it's such a close game that it, it that that's not a good answer because it's literally could change in one fight. Yep. So that's why it's it's always changing. It's 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 like up or down basically. Uh, our odds of winning right now are still very good. Uh, we don't have bad yeah. odds by any means. We do see a two v one in that top lane, so we we will see um, the Elise, like you mentioned, trying to restabilize that top lane with the advantage that we have over it. Um, we will see Caleb flash out. We will see Jarvan get a nice shield to stay alive under tower. Um, and then Shin comes back in to help out with the fight. We will see Vayago coming up top. So we do see a 3v3, 3v3 up here. Lane. Although we do have a very fed Lucian already 4-0. Um, and so I'm not sure if this is a fight we take or we just kind of restack. It looks like Sima is going to take take the reset here yeah. as, as the pickaxes go into our jungle. I think uh, mid lane we just work on trying to reassess and try and keep keep your farm even until you get your until we're able to feed those ganks back to Seth yep. and let him start power spiking here. Kenna is, is up 2-0 in the bot lane. Um, Chandler is up in assists and she's of course up in farm. That's basically a given anytime Kenna's playing ADC. So <laughs> uh, great looks in the bot lane. We already have a very pretty power heavy bot lane and top lane. So uh, we might see as much as we want to see Seth fed because we know Viego is such a carry. Um, we'll probably see. Jarvan start prioritizing other lanes because of that. Yep. Um, no point, in, like we like we mentioned with the Elise, no point in trying to bring back your lane. Might we not might not see a lot of um, attention being paid to Seth until he gets in a team fight and just starts spinning around, killing, taking kills like like it's yeah, crazy. Yeah. So that's that's one of Viego's strong suits is team fights because yep. if he gets one kill, he can ult, yep. do a bunch of damage, get his health back, yep. and then suddenly yep. have the abilities of the character. Literally so run. annoying. So if, if you see one person die to a Viego in a team fight and that Viego is not on your team, that's just you, your you signal should, to leave. You're going to die. Yeah. That's it for you. We will see a Kenna ult here. Kenna will get a stun on the Nautilus. We will see Chandler go. Chandler will oh Chandler will get picked by the Elise on the backside. We do see a nice collapse from the blue team from Cameron Pickaxes, but I think Simo will come out of this pick ahead. We do Here's see Delusion give a double kill. I told you guys. Yep. Silas is going to get a pick off the Elise. Viego snagging the, snagging the Silas. So um, we do see Seth take... Uh, three kills in one fight. Yep. Like so, I said, the Viego gets one kill. It's all over. You from put there. you put my man Viego in a team fight, and let's get it. Chandler feeding in this game. Uh, Chandler's like actually not feeding. Chandler's <laughs> playing out of his mind right now. Um, a support literally should not be taking kills unless it's a free kill. Um, he has seven assists already, yeah, which he has means seventy percent kill participation. Yeah, literally almost all the kills Chandler has at least majorly assisted in. So, so the, he's playing out of his mind actually. Those two kills top lane he couldn't have been a part of, so yep. he's missed one kill for one kill he was not involved with, and I think that was the kill after he died that that uh, Seth went and got. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing actually a phenomenal job on this Leona. Um, making sure his lanes stay fed. We've been, almost now evened out the mid lane discrepancy that we saw off that Lucian. Um, Kenna still holding on with that six assists and two kills. Again, not dying. Um, gonna, we see three bounties on Simo's team, um, which makes you play a little bit more timid. At what point should you really be worried about not feeding off your bounty? So that's the thing with, uh, with bounties. Um, you know, you don't want to give that extra gold to someone for your shutdown. However, if you have a big enough bounty, that means you are being like fed out of your mind right now. Yep, yep. Which means you do have more opportunity to go in and get more kills simply because you have that much damage. And they're going to target you because you have exactly. They know you have that shutdown. So that's the thing is like it, it's a big risk factor in league. It's like, do I go for someone who's fed right now and has a bounty? Because if it doesn't work, they're even more fed and we're not going to be able to kill them. However, if I do kill them, it's going to feel really good. I'm going to get a bunch of gold, and we're going to push back into this game. Yeah, um, you're, I think the highest your bounty can get is like 700? It's 1,000, actually. 1,000, sheesh. So, I mean, Chad, 1,000 bucks is like, that's almost easily a third to half an item. Yep. Um, so that could really put you in an advantageous spot, especially if you get that shutdown in a team fight where you didn't have to, like, risk your life for it, where it's just like, hey, they were already there. Let's just go ahead and kill them. Um, so I don't, right now, I don't think we're going to see them really worrying about that. 200 gold, 300 gold, that's here nor there. Um, I think they're going to keep playing to shut, to really push their advantage where they have it. Um, looking at these gold splits. It's almost 2k um, up for Simo. Two, yeah, 2k up in, in gold-wise. Um, we really like where the gold's sitting, especially. Um, really heavily, pretty even, honestly, within 100 gold um, from our jungle mid, top, and ADC. Yep. Uh, which I love to see. That means really, really nice even gold spread, even kill spread, honestly, um, within one kill of each other. That's really huge. Um, so that means we're going to have a lot of potentials to keep making a hyper carry. Yep. Uh, something else to notice, uh, Simo did get that first Drake earlier. So we, we have, you know, a bit more they damage on Uh Something with the dragons in this game, uh, 
it, there, it gets to a point called soul point where like if you get one more dragon you get like a really big buff huge buff so the more dragons you have early on the easier it is to get to that point yep so if Simo gets his next drake uh we're gonna be sitting in a really good spot dragon wise and they're going to have to respond to our drake takes yep yep so he meant soul point that's four dragons um you get a little baby buff with each dragon and yep. then when you get that fourth one big buff comes in um what's cool is like what you mentioned if we take next dragon we're looking two um and so giving us three that's really reckless so they're gonna start contesting after two yep. um but that's nice is like we can just give up a dragon and take pressure in lane or take pressure on baron yeah um we don't have to because you have a lot more wiggle room between dragons because technically they have to get to the same point of yep. two or three dragons before you're also concerned about it so um it's always smart to play around your objectives because that does give you a nice boost to your whole team um but also if you're the one controlling the pressure so hey we have three dragons we know they're going to respond to this we control that pressure we can do what we want we can give up a dragon yep. or we can take it get a big team fight we can do what we want so. and that's something a lot of people don't realize is like especially if you're ahead mm -hmm. and you have like objective control yep uh at that point you let's know let's get a zoom out here zach i think we might see a big team fight you know that they're going to come for these objectives yep hold on i'm going to finish this after we see what's about to go down here we do see Leona and uh, Jarvan in the bush. We might be looking for a, an engage here on this bot lane. We do see a 3v3. Um, oh, going to run into the Jarvan here. Jarvan will just dive out. They're not going to engage in this fight, I don't think. I think they do yeah, see the Lucian. Lane too. Yeah, they'll see the Lucian coming down here. We are going to see Miriam getting nice little plate action off this tower. Um, we will take first two plates, it looks like. Maybe. Oh, I actually it don't, think he, got that, I don't think he got that second plate. So he's literally one hit off that second plate. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we see my man dive back for that. Get, get that little gold out. <laughs> I almost guarantee. Even if he takes a couple turret shots, it's I think worth, he's going worth. to. I mean, that's one hit. You know, he'll he'll get it right there. So uh, we do see second dragon spawning now. Um, and so we'll see eventually team starting to set up. We do see Elise dropping the Rift Herald in mid lane. Um, probably going to get a big chunk off this tower. Yep, so big chunk off this tower. <laughs> Uh, so first turret is a big thing simply because it gives you a bonus gold but it also you know it, it releases map pressure yeah because now they have a lot more area they can walk around in mid and like on like the, the jungle close to mid there mm -hmm. without having to worry about people coming in front of them uh it, it just it just frees up a lot of pressure from their yep. mind yep your your front line is now pushed back in, in a dent and yep. so you now have to work around that uh, so we did see first tower fall to the other guys and or as most people know them as Cameron University I just uh, call them pickaxes. There you go So that is the first tower to them. They did drop rip herald So um, if you drop rip herald and don't get first tower, you're you're playing a real little stagger game I'm not, I'm not sure what's going on. So they will dominate pressure on this second dragon not a huge deal like we mentioned So uh, we're gonna see ooh, we're gonna to see Oh, she, he hooked a Nico, a Nico clone Nico Gotcha clone. silly ha ha, ha. Ha, ha ha where you going? So we're going to see Caleb putting a little bit of pressure on this top lane. Seth move, making his way back to mid. He will try and clear this control ward. Um, just going to just gonna go just a little, just a little Diego things. We will see the, uh, the Lucian, ooh, the Lucian will ult. Close. And then we will see the Caitlyn snipe, although the Lucian will take the kill there. We will see a big stun from the Nico to push that Nautilus back off. Um, not sure if we see a fight here. They do have a control ward, um, so they do are dominating vision there. We will see Caleb still engage on the Silas. There's Caleb's nothing that Silas can do at this point. Yeah, it Caleb, just feels real bad to be him. Caleb, uh, Caleb knows he has that lane dominance and that lane pressure, and so I think he, we're going to see him abuse that as much as he can. Uh, so earlier, what I was going to say before uh, that fight and the dragon take and all that all that stuff happened is if if uh, if you're ahead and you have objective control, it feels really good simply because you want the other team to fight you. If you're up gold and you have those extra items, you have extra stats, you've been dominating in fights, you want them to fight you more, and they don't want to fight. Yep, However, yep. objectives force them to come to you, otherwise they give up the objective and you get even stronger. You know where they're going to be at, yep. at that time. So at this point, uh, th there's not a big gold lead anymore. There's, there's not an objective lead. Uh, Simo has kind of let them uh, the pickaxes catch back up. It is back to an even game. So, like I said earlier, uh, like you were saying, like one fight can change the entire course yep, of the game. Yep. So this is just an example of that. So yeah, like technically we're up a kill. Uh, technically we're down in gold, and technically we're down in towers. But like that, the game is so far from being over here that um, it honestly, like, you can't even make a, a good assumption like, off that. A thousand gold is like the bare minimum yeah. to make a difference. Yeah. So. And even then, like, it would have to be like on a carry. Yeah. That builds my mythic before your mythic, yeah. and, and like it's so specific. So, uh, this is a best of three instead of a best of five. Um, 
we had a best of five in Rocket League, but Rocket League's also way shorter. A best of five in this would take a thousand it years. It would take four. Yeah, that's... Mm, Even if yeah. it's a three-zero sweep, that's still three games. That's uh, still almost four hours, yep. So, very long time. Which is, this is a best of three, but that's what we're used to. Um, that's what we've been playing um, the whole the whole series. So um, you guys should be ready to hang with us the whole night. So big big parties. If you're doing homework, might as well do it tomorrow. We're, we're locked in, as, as I would say yesterday. Locked in. Locked in. We were locked... We were, we were locked in last <laughs> night, let me tell you. Yeah, uh, oh I heard it, I heard it in the overtime. It was, it was overtime, there. last 10 seconds of the game, literally nuts. Ooh. We see a 3v1 gank top lane. Come on now. Caleb was just trying to get a trade kill there yeah, before he went down. Yeah, he was trying down, to get somebody but... down, at least make it worthwhile. What is this prediction that I'm looking at here? It won't go away. All right, back to it. Tied up in kills. They are leading in gold to baby bit. That is a little bit from tower. Um, and then they probably got, got shut down. Shut they down. got shut down yeah. gold off us, like we mentioned earlier. We do see Caleb finish his mythic off of that fight, though. We will see Jarvan diving in for a fight, taking out the Caelan. We the do see a four. Hey, you're going to go 3v1. We're going to go 4v2. Turn it back around on you guys. We'll take your whole team. We'll wipe him out. Easy peasy. Love that push. Big fight from them. That was a two for nothing right there. That was huge. That's a great fight. Um, I think we're going to see Viego roam a lot heavier now yep. just because there's no point in camping lane, right? Yep. Um, he's not going to get any farm advantage in that mid lane, so he might as well pop around. But the uh, the uh, downside to that is we're also going to see the Lucian doing the same thing because we know he, he knows the same thing. as I'm, I, I already have enough dominance in this lane. I'll come back to it later. I got that first tower. I've done my job. I can go help others. Yep. So especially like first tower, uh, once that goes down, the, the laners are kind of free to do whatever until the wave bounces back to them. So it's going to be like a trade back and forth. Like, it bounces towards our side, and we have Seth go and clear it. And then he yep. can leave and do whatever he yep. wants. And then, and then, then wait yep, and Lucian, push yep. Lucian pushes it back. Push it's literally just a back and forth. Yep. Yep. And you, you can see that here. Uh, oh. Seth, Seth pushed the lane, came up, killed. And then someone came up and killed him. So... So... Basically, plus one trade in Simo's favor for that, but that actually came from the bot lane fight. Um, we actually went even and even on that. B O body odor. Body odor? No, it's Black Ops. I can't say I can say that Raleigh smells like corn. Um, that's weird, dog. Are you sure you're yeah, not I just smelling you, Ohio? I promise you, when I shower, I'm not using corn. I'm using deodorant. <laughs> I'm using soap and soap and water. So it, I don't, I don't it's know why the I smell like corn. corn syrup that is in American products. True, 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 true. Maybe that's it. All right, so we do have next dragon spawning in 16 seconds. Uh, I don't know why the second dragon is still up. We already took the second dragon. It was the other guys. Huh? Yeah, yeah, but it, uh, my screen's showing it still, I think. Or maybe that's already closed. I don't know. The missions are closed. I don't think they're... That's oh. for the third dragon. Okay. So we've already voted. That's the vote for the. Okay. That's the prediction for the third Jarvan getting. Let's get a little out. zoom out here, Mr. Zach. We got a big fight going on. Let's see what we're about. We do see a Jarvan going for an ult on the Kenna Nautilus. We will see Caleb getting a nice little Nautilus kill there. Kenna getting a nice stun. Uh, oh, balls. Silas yep. stole that. Silas stole Kenna's ult for that stun. But it's not going to matter. I think Caleb's going to get a. Sh oh, Silas will go over the wall into the Raptor pit. Ooh, but he he will pull the Zanyas to save his life. I don't know why he pulled the Zanyas there. I guess he was dying. Just a stopwatch. Oh, okay. So pulls the stopwatch. Doesn't matter. It's going to get fried by Caleb. Kenna will get poked down a little bit here, but I think she'll make it out of this fight. Um, Elise is going to spider down. She Ooh, will dive onto Kenna. Um, I think we're going to see they Miriam come back this. in they here and turn this around. I think they're going to turn this fight around. Yep. So Chandler's gonna. Chandler doesn't have enough to engage. I think. I don't think he wins this. Oh, he got stunned. Oh, we, but he still Caleb gets will get one. We will. We will see a stun. There it is. Chandler lands that stun perfectly to Big keep Caleb alive. Shutdown. That's and a that's huge jungler, fight. So we get the dragon. That's a that. huge fight. That's a free dragon. Uh, we're gonna see Caitlyn try and recontest this. Everybody's got enough health to maybe survive this. Yeah, Caleb's gonna survive. dive over a wall and he's gonna, gonna pressure off. her off. We're gonna see uh, Viego full health take this dragon on his own. Chandler's gonna look to look, look to back here. TP back in. Yeah, we definitely leave this fight now, though. That's a that's a great disengage. Uh, um, he still might die, though. Caitlyn has a lot of range in her tool belt. <laughs> He's getting behind those ninjas <laughs> as best he can. Oh, he dodges the <laughs> dodges two Silas. Oh that my was God. some quick feet. Literally on outplayed. Part. Literally outplayed. Dodges two Silas chains and the Everfrost. Get out of my game. So spicy. Too slick. That's right. Too. That was. That was. 
cra he's got crazy legs. Yeah, he does. That was nice. Well played, Caleb. Good plays by Caleb. Great fight overall. Uh, Chandler Chandler disengaging and then coming right in when he needs to help out Caleb, yep. landing his stun perfectly. Huge See, fight. That's the balance is hard hard to find in league. It's like when do you go in? When do you yeah. get out? Should I should I have fought that? Oh, I died. Oh, I probably shouldn't have fought it then. You know, but. <laughs> But we do I see Caleb, a big thing we've seen Caleb do already in this game several times is, crap, I'm outnumbered, I'm going to take somebody with me, I'm taking one of you down yep. with me, yep. I'm going to get you low health, um, and he's done a great job of both times that he's died, he has died looking in into a 3v1, into a 2v1, and, and trying to at least take one with him, so. That's asking um, you a question. Raleigh, who's your favorite champ and why is it Blitzcrank? Uh, so my favorite champ lane for lane i'm a big nautilus support main uh that's why i learned i'm pretty good at that and i or at least what i learned it on i don't actually like blitzcrank all that much i think he's annoying that's not blitzcrank i don't think blitzcrank's <laughs> very good well, like for easy me kill top lane a little free low uh i like vigar mid which i think is a weird take because i know he's trash like right now in the meta but uh <laughs> i like him i i don't know why that was like one of the first champions i learned to play mid we will see another Lucian ult here. It will not pick up the kill on Shin. Uh, the tower might fall though if he yeah, gets another I, wave I push think up. Yeah, I think he will probably get a nice wave shot. Kenna is that. pushing down there though, so another another spicy 1v1 possibly. Oh, I don't know Ooh, if he should have gone in on that. He did not know. see the Nautilus. He will the flash over Rock. I think the Elise will dive on him. I think he gets out of, oh, we will, oh, we do see the TP from Shin though. Shin's gonna turn this fight around. And we see Kenna jump into here too. Kenna's gonna nice little ult. Yeah, she will stun the the Elise. The Elise is. We will see the Jarvan ult. The Jarvan's gonna ult her double ult here. Huge pick. We're gonna see the turn onto the Lucian. Lucian's gonna get fried there, and then we're gonna see Jarvan diving in for not. He he's gonna disengage. Good fight. Good fight. Three zero trade. Second trade Simos had with no kills or no deaths. In two fights, Simos up seven kills. Love that. Another dragon. I am so hyped right now. Uh, actually, I think we're going to make our way over to, uh, Baron. to Baron. Yeah, that's going to be almost a free Baron for us. Pretty much uncontested. Um, that was their support, their jungler, um, and and I think their ADC. So, it's a mid lane. Um, oh, mid lane, gotcha. So um, definitely uncontested to the most part. If they do contest, it's going to be um, probably for an Stick after Baron around. fight, um, which those do go well, but um, I don't know. It looks like we have a lot of peel already, though. We have two teams already looking to peel. Um, they might just be dead. Oh, they both got their dashes and got out of there quick. That was very well played. That by was them, a great peel. Stay out of my lane. Back off. Let us do what we want to do. Um, those those after Baron fights make sense because if you get killed with the Baron buff, you lose the Baron buff. Yep, so, yep. oh, Baron we didn't stop permanent. Baron, but I came in, I smoked the fight, and then we kill a bunch of people. That's like half the team now yep. lost their Baron buff that they fought so hard for. So Simo makes it out with all their Baron buffs. Um, the Baron buff now will empower all the minions if you're standing in a wave with minions. And so they'll get bigger, stronger. Um, they'll have more health. And so that makes your lane pushes a lot more strong. A lot stronger, not more strong. Yep. Um, so that's a great buff. I, does it give it an individual stat-based buff or is uh, it just so every, every champion that has it gets uh, uh, minor buffs to all their stats. Okay. So they do do more damage. They gotcha. have more defense. Uh, it's not it's not a lot, though. Usually, Baron is mostly emphasized the amount of gold that you get okay. from killing it. And then the push that you get with the minion. The minion, the minion push is being the sec the third third benefit being the stat. But yeah. first is gold. Second, the minion push that you have. Um, responding to, to, to Baron minions is definitely annoying. Yep. Um, to say the least, they're a lot stronger than you'd like them to be. So we are going to see uh, the pickaxes kind of prioritizing their positioning around the Baron Pit, um, looking to clear out some wards, kind of camping out in this bush. Uh, they have 30 seconds on the next spawn. Ooh, we do see a submission just closed, so the next dragon um, is going to be up. So we're going to see some positioning around this. Is that screen locked, or are we just watching this Nautilus? Let's get this fat to... Uh, Why are we just watching this Nautilus this in this bush, bro? Come on now. Uh, apparently, uh, spectator thinks that that's the most interesting. That, this game. is the most interesting. Oh, I mean, it is though. We're about to see a huge engage. We will see a stun from Chandler onto the Nautilus. We still see a Jarvan in, Jarvan dive in. Vago's gonna miss his pull. We will see the Lucian ult to push the team back. Um, oh, we're gonna see Shin maybe caught in the bush. He's gonna get Silas ulted or Silas chained a little bit. Nothing crazy. We will see Seth starting the dragon. Start They're gonna the dragon. try and pull it out of the pit. Um, I believe the dragon's not there. It is now. It's pulling it's out. 
So Shin's gonna dive on this Elise. They're gonna target this Elise heavily because that means yep. they, they get a, they get a, basically a free dragon no matter how this fight turns out. Um, oh my goodness yep. gracious. Yep. Absolute yep. wiping the That's floor. Just the ace. There oh, it is, ladies baby! and gentlemen. Give him the team ace. kill! Give him the quadra kill! Give him the ace! Who Let's run it, it up. I wanna know who stole that. Oh, Pentos. I'm so hyped. That was nice. That was so nice. That oh. was very well played by Chat, you know what that means? You know what happens when we get a team kill? What's that? Oh, oh. Red Bull, you want one? Red Bull chug for little teammates, baby. Let's get it. All right, all right. Confession this is time. So cold. I've never had a Red Bull. Oh. And I'm about to chug one chat, live on stream. Chat. First time Red Bull pop. Let's get it. I. Oh my god, these are so cold. <laughs> it's gone, chat. It's gone. Th this little guy had to take a breather. But chat, much like that other team, absolutely deleted. <laughs> Alright, let's get it. I'm hyped. Huge. Bro, that was, that was very well played. Bro, that you know. was so cold. Oh my god. Probably struggling. Bro, I, bro cold stuff be, be hurting my teeth, man. Uh, get out of here, Zach. <laughs> He's shaking the can over My here. My man Zach's checking. All right, man. All right, man. I've been trying to get them to do this for a week, and they did it. Hey, Alaric with the coaching tips. The big brain big brain plays. I love it. If you didn't know, guys, uh, Alaric's actually kind of their coach. So, you know, a, a lot of their, se their, their success, uh, especially, like, plays around the map, uh, can be attributed to his, his training, quote-unquote. So... He, he's he's seeing his his uh, training come to fruition. Alaric team. is Mr. Miyagi. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, he's he's the one going wax on, wax, on, wax, wax off. off. Come on you know, now. Kill the jungler, yeah, take the yeah, dragon. Yep, yeah, I love it. <laughs> Big W's there. They'll love to see that play working out how they've trained. Ace equal um, heart failure. Yeah. Yeah, I don't Dude, 80 milligrams of rep, 80 milligrams of caffeine, easy peasy sicko mode. You Mountain know? Dew Rise, 180 milligrams. Yeah. I drink a those bang, for fun. 300. Come on now. We're fine. I'm feeling the wonderful right now. I'm hyped. I cannot wait to play Japanese Electro Progressive House it after this game, after this W. Uh, why can't I click this prediction chat? There is a prediction up, and I'd like to join it as well as you guys. A minute 46. Or, oh, next dragon, baby. This is soul point for Simo. So, yeah, if Simo get this next dragon, they they actually end up uh, getting... The big yep. soul point. Yep. Big step, step up that you mentioned. They get dragon soul. Uh, but we will see, I assume, the smart play would be for the other team to heavily contest this dragon. Yep. Like, like throw your life at it do not give Simo a soul point um but maybe they won't maybe they uh technically we could we we won't see a baron stagger um so chat sometimes depending on when dragon uh is taken that makes the spawn counters line up with the baron to where they're close enough to where if you guys take baron we'll just go take dragon or vice versa so, kind of thing. yeah so that can still happen if they decide to keep the baron alive until the dragon if we spawns. wait if we yeah. wait so at this point, I think it's probably better for the pickaxes to try to either pressure Baron or get some kills right beforehand. Yep. Otherwise, they're going to have to play, like you were saying, like pick and choose which one they want and which one they're going to give up. It looks like we're going to see Simu heavy, heavy pressure up in Baron pit, um, already demanding into those jungle lanes. And oh, they're going to four, 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 four man bush, bush camp this. Oh, pick and choose um, wall. What? A little, little, little pun there from Mr. Stabbing. How's that a? Uh... Because I said pick and choose. Oh, but like pick pick hey, yeah. hey, that's you. That's <laughs> that's Raleigh Woe, chat. All right, we will see Shin starting. Th that's Raleigh Woe. That's huge. We will see Shin starting the uh, starting the jungle, Easy but we pick. are going to see Silas dead. absolutely fragged out. We'll see. Oh, oh ooh, but the, ooh, a the chain flash. and a double spike. Oh, oh nice Keno, little root. Yeah, we'll see. Keno oh, pops, the root. Doesn't pops, matter. The, pops the hourglass. Shin comes in. We'll get smoked. We do see Lucian uh, snag Chandler on the backside. But ooh, we will see Kenna go down here. Ooh, this fight is turning mind. away from us, but I think Shin and Viego are gonna go sicko yeah, mode no. here. Viego got a kill, so it doesn't yeah, even yeah. matter at this GG's, point. GG's, there it is. You have a, you have a six man on the other team now. Viego's got a, a whole nother life. Yeah, Viego going sicko mode. Uh, Chad, if I could predict, just with my 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 little brain, <laughs> I think we're gonna see a PTSD Viego ban next game. Probably, probably. I would, I would, just I would kind of so. uh, maybe kind even of a, a PTSD Jarvan ban. Yeah, because Jarvan's of, been put in the work. Jarvan's He's also Jarvan's right all, Jarvan's heavy carrying right now. Eleven and three, seventeen assists. Uh, not leading in kills, almost leading in assists. Uh, Shen does have one more assist than Jarvan. 
We will take our second Baron of the game and immediately make our way down to Dragon Side uh, for our Soul Point. Uh, so what does Mountain Soul Point give us? Uh, so Mountain Soul, uh, it gives you a buff to your resistances. Okay. Uh, that's that's what the Mountain Drake does. So like, Perfect. you get more armor, a little bit more re uh, magic resist. But the Mountain Soul actually gives you a shield that comes back after you haven't fought for a bit. Let's go. So uh, you guys can see Nautilus' shield right there. Imagine yep. Nautilus' shield, so except it's everybody. always on. It's on everybody. It's oh. stronger. And if they get rid of it, you, you step out of combat for a and little bit, and they get it back. Sheesh. So they basically have shields for the entire rest of the game Let's if go. they get this dragon. Let's go. Yeah, so we are going to see Simo absolutely dominating presence in this pit already. Shin's looking to art, looking to deep peel this other team off. Yeah, it's gone. I mean, three second fry. Uh, yeah, I mean that's soul point, baby. Let's get it. Here's I'm the hype. thing, chat. We have we have Baron, which means our push right here is going to be really big. We're also up ten thousand gold, and it's thirty two minutes into this game. Yeah, taking a look down at their items. Um, just looking at finished items, uh, Simo's up on finished items on absolutely everybody on their t other team. Uh, it doesn't look like anybody has more finished items than anybody on Simo's team. So that's a W. Um, that's basically one entire stat boost that Simo's getting um, in some regard or another that the other team just can't even contest. Well, Zach, let's get a little zoom out here. We do have a big team fight going on. Um, we will see Shin staying alive here. Um, he does make it. Does make it alive. Definitely low health. He's a thick um, boy. He is a thick boy. He's a big tank guy. Uh, he does. Shin does have Sunfire, um, Rabadon's Omen, and Thornmail. And so he. I mean, those are triple tank items. He's he's a beefy boy up there. Um, so definitely one of the situations you talked about was he's either gonna go damage, <laughs> and and you go sicko mode, or he's gonna go tank and just camp out. Rabadon's and Omen. Wait, I knew what's it. it? What's it called? So, so there have been a few times in this game that you've said something slightly incorrect. Almost, almost. Right. I don't want to okay, correct okay. you because I'm not gonna be like, he doesn't know anything. But chat kind of flames you for it. Ran yeah, Randu Ran and Omen. Ran okay, man. You Rabadon's know what? is the cat and does a bunch of. Oh, magic that's okay. That's the mate. Okay. Hey, you know what? You know what? These are all made up words anyway. Words aren't real, <laughs> so I don't want to hear it. Knight's going on a rampage. With Off the, the top of my dome, that was pretty close. It was I was close. picturing it in my head because I never build that item. I don't play a champion that builds that item. So in my head, I'm like, oh, I, I think I know it. Close enough. You know, happens. And then, yeah, like, like you were saying, uh, Jarvan actually went a little bit more yep. of a bruiser build. Yep. So uh, he, he went that gore drinker. He has that gargoyles and that steric. So team fights huge on the Jarvan. Yep. Um, so he's the one hitting hard like a truck. Yep. That's Shins, why he's Shins is up there eat, eating damage. Yeah, and that's why he's 12 and 3. Literally, literally. All right, we will see the Nexus. Oh, we will see that last tower fall, and we will see a big Nexus play here. Focus the Nexus, knock that bad boy down. Uh, they are picking up. Die. They are picking up some kills, but they can't. They can't kill us fast enough. W City, baby. C1 takes the first game. One down. Let's get One more it. to go. Give, give me the music. Give me the music. Let's go. Let's go. I'm high. Hey, Corey. Hey. What's up, my guy? Huge dub, number one, Victory Royale. Yes, yep. Fortnite. We are about to get down. Uh, KDA ruined. Unlucky. Uh, we will get a stat check here in a second. We got to get the Japanese Electric Progressive House hit banging, though. Uh, that's a big... That literally such a big game right there. That was, that was very like, well played by Simo. So spicy. Such a good played game. Never have I been more confident. All right, let's get this little stat check here. Uh, oh, baby. Give me that graph. Lucian, shit! I told you, dude. Lucian can pop off. That man was fragging. Even even though he had all that damage, it was never enough to kill anyone. No, so no. He got a few. He got a bunch of kills, but they they didn't they didn't really matter in the end simply because his team wasn't behind him. Yep. Let's. Can we look at uh, damage taken and healed? Yeah, my man, my man uh, Shin, like we mentioned, eating damage right there. That, that's actually is that Shin or Jar oh that's Jarvis? Wait, is it? Is it? I can't. Can I you can't can you only make it one yeah, bar? Make, make it one. Turn off healing. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Jarvan Jarvan damage taken. The so Jarvan's actually eating most of that. So uh, here's the Shane thing, quickly right? Followed, a though. lot of these a lot of these graphs and stuff, people always go, Oh, I had more damage, or I took so much, you know, damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like true, but you gotta you also gotta think about how many times you were actually in a fight. If you think about it. Chandler, like on the Leona, until yeah. the end of the game, wasn't in a lot of fights. He was just down there with Kenna in the, yeah. in the lane, you yeah. know, doing his job. But, you know, someone like he was, the jungler, How pivotal he was, yeah. though, to those fights. But, but it, like, yeah, he was doing his job. Like, he was still <laughs> doing very well. But someone like Caleb on the Jarvan, going around the map constantly, he's always in, trying he, to pick objectives. He, all he does is yeah, He's literally fight. in every yeah, single yeah. fight, so yeah. he's going he to have more... He's obviously going to have... He's going to have more opportunities yeah. to take damage Staggered, and deal yeah, damage. For sure. Staggered, staggered stats, to say the least. 
That was a huge game. Super confident playing by Simo. Um, for off the draft pick into that first team fight, going up positive in that, um, and then just maintaining such a lead. Um, so oh, here's man. the thing, right? These pickaxes, you said they were like seven and one or something. What, what was that like? It was like number one in, in the in the. I don't. I don't. Uh, Zach, give pull us a GG Leagues pull up. Give us a pull up. Give let's let's see what we're talking up. here. Because GG, let's pull up the GG Leagues and then pull up um, the league uh, details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I'm, I'm actually curious. Mr. Mr. Jack Dondrequees needs a Red Bull to stay stay on, stay on top of the game in the, in the chat. All right, Zach has to play with three monitors to get us uh, get us this he information. Can't even see one of them. Yeah, so. he cannot he, see. He's got a like. Yeah, he's peeking over. But huge game. I loved watching that. That was such a good. All right, so. I want to see what who they're playing. Pickaxes are five and one. They are second in the entire league. And we just kind of very decisively destroyed them. Stomp them, chat. Oh, go to, okay, here. I got you, I got you. All right, so you're going to go to uh, League Details. Go back on that page. At the top, it says My Games. Click All Games. Riley's like coaching and then we, Zach and then we can, And then we can see uh, who they played. No, but put it to where I can read it. Pog, and then hand me that. Oh, we have a mouse, guys. guys oh, I got a mouse. mouse. I am so powerful right now, honestly. He has all the power. Nuts. All right, so we're going to look at who they've played before and then who we played before. See if we played similar teams. Uh, let's look at tells who won. That's, oh, it does tell us who won. Pog. Okay, so we're looking for... Can we get a control F? And then can we get... Uh, yeah, Pog. That, that's good. Okay, so... They played Northwest Bearcats. They played MSU. So they did beat the number one team. Or no, they lost the number one team. So we've, I think we've lost to them as well. Uh, WEC B team, I think we've also lost to them. Um, C, that's a, one of the lower teams. One of the lower teams and one of the lower teams. So they have a mixed record. Um, probably the same as us. Can we get CMB Sports on our right keyboard? Attaboy. That's good there. Um, so then looking at who we played. So we played Jaguars. That's one we played. We had a bias. So that doesn't count. Davenport, they didn't play. MS, they didn't play. They didn't play. We did play them. So there's two teams. So us and this team have only played two of the same, two of the same teams. And, and one so, of them is number one. So. And we both lost the number one team. So in reality, them being 7-1 doesn't mean as much as us only being 4-3, uh, and three, right? Yeah. So, like you mentioned, I this this could be a big confidence boost for us. Yeah, no, definitely. Ooh, we're already in we're already in pro draft for this next game. Like, Jeez! All right, all right, all right. What there tune? is the Shen PTSD what tune, what band. Tune, oh, yeah, what tune do we need for this band? That's what we need. What what Wago track are we gonna get on this? Oh, Zach's Zach's searching. Uh, oh no no no! We need real league music now. We need takeover. Oh, takeover time! Banger! And it's takeover time. Takeover Chad. like Simo game took over the game first one's game. Game one's already done. We're taking over this game, calling it easy PT two games. Let's get it. Guys, you don't understand how hype this song is. Hype! All right, so we do see the PTSD Shin ban, and then the quick uh, Hecarim ban to make sure Caleb does not get the Hecarim. Um, they see the Yone. They see the Volley Bear. Um, the Riven, we saw those are three pick bands off the bat. They don't get the Seraphine they first. Don't. first they traded Shen for we, Seraphine. Yeah, we and do get Simo Chandler on first the Seraphine. Day. Honestly, more concerned. I would be more scared of the Seraphine than I would of a Leona. Like, Chandler played his part to a T on that Leona, but like, now you just gave him more range. Yep. Like, oh, I can still do the same stuff, more range. Yep. Yep. Good luck. He's not as tanky, but he can heal his team a ridiculous yeah, literally. amount. So we do see a Nidalee jungle first pick. Uh, and then let's see what we get the second. Pfizer gang. Pfizer hey, gang. hey, Pfizer gang, what's up? Uh, I'm Pfizer gang. Moderna gang. Bruh, this is League Stream, sir. Bruh, the ninth stream is evolving the top of anime for 30 minutes. Get lost. Now we got to rant about Star Wars. No anime here. Now I got to rant about Pfizer gang. Fire gang, Moderna gang. Ew, get out. Chat, y'all are wild today. This has been Reading with Raleigh. Tune in next week. A lol. <laughs> All right. So we will get the 
Warwick pick? Those are two that jungles. That is an interesting pick. Ooh. Nidalee's a jungle. Warwick might be an accidental lock-in. If it's an actual legitimate pick, I'm assuming he's going top, but huh? that is very non metal That's that's a spicy, like no one plays Warwick spicy. anywhere except for jungle and even, and even there, then he's not even then he's not a high pick. Yeah, I bet. no. Yeah. Warwick Jeez. is like one of those people you play when you're first learning the game and trying to play jungle, and then you never play him again. Hey chat, guess uh, who I learned to play jungle on? <laughs> yeah, I definitely learned to play Warwick for a couple games Misfortune. before I switched Ooh. over. I'm a big Misfortune fan. Uh, this is my main. So. When I first started playing with you, you were cracked on the Misfortune, <laughs> so I get that. Uh, yeah. Uh, there it is, the Jarvan locking. How, how do you not PTSD yeah, ban so that? They PTSD picked the Shen simply because I, I feel like it's because their top laner got destroyed and goes, oh, he plays Shen, yeah. I can't do anything. Yeah. But this is the part where Simo locks in some other aggressive top yeah, laner like, yeah. and does the same thing. Yeah. Rinse, wash, repeat. Yeah, like, man, you just can't ban, you can't ban them out. You can't. He has so many aggressive top laners that he can go to. Um, it's just out in the chat. Warwick's passive scares me. Uh, there's also a loading screen when you're loading into League that simply says Warwick is hunting you right now. I think that's a little more nerve wracking than dead. his passive. That's, that's aggressive. Because it's like it's like when I'm playing League at three in the morning and it's dark everywhere, and all of a sudden I just see Warwick is hunting me right the, now. The, I'm, I'm like, the little item pops above your head saying that he can <laughs> he can smell you. <laughs> all right, we do see a Samira picked in that bot lane, and they do get the Viego ban out of mid. Um, so we'll see what Mr. Seth pulls out for us. Spice, what spicy take we get out in that mid? I would be very happy to see his uh, Cassiopeia this game. True, very true, happy true. to see that. That'd be nice. <laughs> if you don't hydrate throughout the day, Warwick's passive will I'm dead. Hydrate or dihydrate, y'all. Hydrate or dihydrate, true. We do see the counter Lucian ban in that mid lane, so we're going to see a brand new mid lane for you guys this game. Uh, interested. I wonder if we'll save those for last bands, or last picks. I'm sorry. Uh, we got that ADC out. We got our bot lane picked early, um, as we laid last time for that. And so, rise ban. I not really sure. I am confusion about. I, I would go to say there's not a single person on our team that has rise in there. Say, that's gotta be. That's gotta. Be I don't wrong. know if rise is played, but. And I don't think a single person on our team has rise in the last 20 games. I, I would put I money either. on that. I will bet one gifted sub. I do not find a single rise in her op.gg. That pulled up. <laughs> Wait a minute. Chat, if you see rise, right there, top lane. Suck. Gifted sub. Let's go. God, bro, no <laughs> shot. That's crazy. They were like, "What's he playing? We need to ban him out." Lol. They just see rise most recent. They're like, "Sure, why not?" No, that, that's no. I'm so I I I cannot I I I I'm I'm at a loss for words. Bro, that's nuts. I'm gonna I want to hear I want to hear how, I want to see how Caleb plays that. Like I don't know much about Rise, but all I know is he just TP's place and that's it. He, he is a top lane pick. It's not super meta to play him there, but like it's it's definitely a thing. Caleb um, likes to play top laners that have TP's. Yeah, I've noticed that. Uh, Silas, I assume that's going to be played mid lane. I'm waiting for my wrong. phone to let me buy a token to put this gifted sub through, so give me a second. I'm interested to see Seth Silas if that is in fact mid. If it's, I've seen if it's Caleb's, he's just going to dominate or get dominated simply because that's how Silas is, especially in the hands of an aggressive Why are player. there three jungler picks right now? What do you mean? Oh, for Sejuani, Nidalee, and Warwick. I am so confused. What in the... Okay, it is a Silas mid with an orn top. Uh, I like that, honestly. I like Orn simply because he provides a lot of late-game scaling and, like, just inherently. Uh, his passive is that he can upgrade people's items. So you're getting a lot of gold value out of it just for locking in the champion. Not only that, but he's, did, a, tank fact, he's a tanky boy. Yes, he also provides a lot of CC and tankiness just with his abilities. So you can't kill him. He's giving your, uh, like, enemy team gold. You try to go in on someone, he knocks you up, and, like, suddenly you're just dead. Yep. It yep. feels really bad to play against an Orn. You, you can play the Ornn. Uh, wait. Ah? Okay. Um. What am I doing here? This is He said what? ignore it. Oh. Oh, okay. I can't read. That's okay. Uh, Pog. So, All right. So, 
<laughs> what do we have going on with their I, picks? I think I think with their picks they might have locked in something incorrectly and yeah so okay so I don't know who it is or what it is Ken or Rod hey just Kenna sub. got my tier sub let's go I think that's fitting you know that's, giving that's, a sub hey, to someone on the team you know hey that turns her up that turns up for percentage subs let's get for it. dubs guys let's get it. subs for absolute dubs I'm hyped for that uh, but yeah they they did lock in incorrectly. So in the okay. chat, they were like, we're not actually playing Sejuani, we're playing someone else. That's uh, fine, that's fine. Honestly, I I, honestly that's fine because that was like such a weird yeah, triple no, pick. That was really weird. Although I am a, yeah, I am upset. That does put me at 70 uh, gifted subs. So I'll have to keep going, I guess. Uh, it does not appear that they are picking in order. I don't really know check. why. The whole point of pro draft is so you can pick an order yeah. when you get in. Check. Can we get a stat check on how many, how much money it would take Luke to pass me in gifted subs? Uh oh. There's six. Gifted sub tokens are six dollars. You're. Ju I'm paying more you for spent mobile. Extra money. You lol. are kidding me, chat. All right. All right. Uh, never. I'm never buying a, a mobile yeah, gifted sub again. That means all of the sub. I've never bought a sub on my laptop though. <laughs> so Every single gifted sub Riley's ever bought has, has cost him one dollar more. That's. I could have given another. Sub. I could have been way above Luke right now. All W. Yeesh. Guess hey. you have to go give ten subs on PC to make I'm, up for I'm it. I'm low key upset about that. That's so tough. I could have been way ahead of Luke. All right, so. It's Shaco actually jungle. Yasuo no? and Shaco. Wait. Uh, it might be Samira Mid Shaco bot. Okay. And then Fiora top, top, Yasuo, Yasuo jungle. Okay, okay. Mid. Yasuo so, mid? No, Yasuo, Yasuo jungle? No, Yasuo is mid. Nidalee's jungle. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if this Shaco actually ends up going AD, which, you know, a lot of Shakos do, mm -hmm. uh, it's going to feel kind of good for Simo because then the only AP threat is the Nidalee. And most of her threat comes from her spears, which are long range. Dodge a spear. So you dodge a spear Easy and you build piece. armor. Easy piece. And that Orn's never going to die. You're never. Let's get it. So Oh baby. So that's something to look forward to if that yeah. is in fact how it happens. Shaco might build AP. I don't really know why he would if he's playing support. But you never know. Let's get a let's get a lane to lane, what you like. Lane to lane. Uh Fiora versus Orn in the top lane. They're kinda on opposite sides of the screen, but uh Fiora is a duelist. She also has like a, a repost, so like any CC or any ability that's coming at her, she can just say no you. Bonk. So it's kind of interesting to see that matchup into Orn, just because Orn's knockup can come from any direction. Okay. So I don't necessarily know if I don't know how that mechanic works with Fiora because I don't play a top lane. Yeah. So I'm interested to see how that works. Uh, if it does work and she can knock up Orn instead of him knocking her up, then. It's gonna go pretty bad for Orn early on until he's tanky enough. Yeah. But until that point, he's gonna be sitting under tower feeling really bad. Which is fine. If Fiora Which is what we saw him do under Shin, though. Yeah. Um, besides those initial two picks, we just saw him kind of camping out and until he, he had that he advantage. Forced, yeah, he forced the Silas off. Yep, yep. So if Fiora can't actually repost that and she does get knocked up, uh, Caleb's going to have all the free reign in lane he wants yep. again. He's too big even to if kill. he doesn't have two kills. Yeah, he probably won't kill her, but like too big to kill for sure. So. Um, Jarvan versus Nidalee in the jungle. Uh, Nidalee, very fast clear. So Jarvan into Nidalee. Uh, I think Nidalee's going to get ahead, but she also wants to have presence. Yeah. She wants to make appearances in lane, throw a spear, try to jump on someone, get those ganks in. Okay. It's hard to execute, but if she's a good Nidalee, uh, it can convert into kills. Okay. And Caleb's going to have to, you know, make sure he's counter ganking, make sure he's trying to invade whenever he can to keep up with her. Cool. Uh, mid lane, Silas into Yasuo. That is 100% execution. You know, Yasuo players, you know, Hasagi, that's the big meme. Uh, I want to see Yasuo pull the meme this game, though, where he has to hit his 10 death power spike before yeah, he can do yeah, anything. Yeah, let's get it. I'd so love, I want, I want Seth to make him hit his 10 death power spike. 10 deaths, and then he maybe might start doing something interesting. Maybe. <laughs> uh, bot lane. Bot lane. Samira is annoying simply because she can block projectiles. So going into another ADC and a support that does projectiles. Yep. Very obnoxious. And then Shaco, you know, he has those boxes everywhere. He goes invisible, puts a box behind you, and then suddenly you're trying to run away from a Samira who's dashing at you. Yep. You get feared, and you have to run back into her because of a box. Okay. So Simo's going to have to play very, like, not passive, but very, but 
like just keeping in mind that Shaco could have a box anywhere, yeah. they're going to have to track that very carefully. I would pay even I would even recommend attention. just buying extra control wards yep. so they can clear that out yep. in lane. Yep. So definitely uh, a little bit of what we're used to. We've seen the Orm, we've seen the Jarvan, we've seen the Silas, we've seen the Seraphine. I don't think we've seen the Misfortune, uh, at least from Kenna. Um, usually one of our other big ADCs. They're, I think their comp isn't bad, but I definitely think it's uh, not something we, we would have typically seen here. Um, a lot of kind of picks all over the place, like a Shaco support. Um, I don't think we've seen a lot of. We've seen the Fiora before. We've seen the Nidalee before. So um, I like. I think you're. I think you're exactly right. I think it's a matter of execution on a couple of these lanes. Um, I'm excited to see how long they can stall out before they hit a power spike and then they start climbing. Um, do you think farm wise, um, will Kenna scale late game? Will Kenna scale early game? What What is her so, What is her mentality going into the Samira? Uh, MF is kind of. Like, like very level one, level two. Okay. She's very strong. However, so is Samira if you play her correctly. Okay. So that is skill. However, Samira can pop off in team fights yep. incredibly well once she gets an item or two. Again, at the same time, so can MF. You know, she pulls an ult from outside of the yeah, actual <laughs> scruff. Yeah, she just has the entire team yeah, fight yeah, in her yeah, ultimate yeah. doing damage. Okay. So I, I don't think necessarily one is better than the other at any point in the game okay. simply because they are both the kind of champions to pop off early kind of just fall into a lull in the mid state and then once they get you know 34 items they just doing damage out their butt so, so it literally just depends on how we play it yeah like there's no, no predetermined like no minimally i'll have this amount extra kind exactly got you got you there might be like a predetermined winner and loser top lane i just don't play top lane enough to understand to know if that's how your mechanic works yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, All right, well, we're we heading in the game now. The game. That microwave clean. You're you know welcome. Uh, we do have the victory stickers on there. Microwave gang. Zach's getting us hooked up with this right now. Yo, he's, chat, he's where's my me. microwave gang at? Microwave yeah, go burr. Yeah, where's the microwave go burr at? Can I go burr? Microwave go burr. <laughs> Bullet time go burr. All right, so we will see Simo on the blue side. Zach's getting that changeover for you guys right now. He'll get that scoreboard pulled up right there. He's taking all of his time. He, he can take as much as he needs. He's got it. He's got us locked in. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and that music off as soon as Zach Can you get feels like it. Off. Bonk, bonk, bonk. We're gonna see the the five man invade oh, from pickaxes. Got chat. Did you hear that very smooth audio quiet out? Oh, oh what, professional. What a, what a fade out, man. Professional. We are gonna see a uh, uh, <laughs> a weird little invade here. They're gonna come out from Krug Pit. Um, they don't know that Ken is there. Oh, that's first blood. surprise! Ooh. Nope, she got out. Not with almost, the flash. almost the first blood. Did he get out with the flash? Nearly is hurting bad though. Uh, so There's that we'll Shaco box. Shaco boxes are invisible to Simo until they step on it, and then, and then it makes annoying. them run away from it. Like it's forcing you to run away from it. Yeah. So if, if anyone steps there, they might actually. They will cancel Jarvan's ult here. Uh, we will see Seraphine lobbing little shots over there. I don't know if they're gonna stay here and steal this. Um, or if we're just going to reposition. For, I think it looks like we're pinging Simo, to reposition yeah. for blue. Simo's we're just going to let them have their, their red. red buff. They yeah. might actually invade and take their red buff. So red for red start. Yeah. That would be very nice. It Honestly, also takes a, a little bit more time, red. though. Cool. Uh, uh, the That's microwave needs a couple more decorative Simo magnets. So actually, uh, these little stickers right here on my shoulder, the, we're putting a new sticker on for every win we get in playoffs. Um, so Valorant got a buy. That was our first W. And then last <laughs> night, Rocket League got a W. So that's our second sticker. So if League, if League wins this game tonight, boom, third sticker. Uh, we will see Jarvan uh, diving in on this Fiora top lane. She was, I guess she was Fiora trying to take the red check, buff for yeah, her. But um, I don't know if he will flash out. She will pop her potion um, to stay alive. I think he popped his earlier in the fight. Um, so it's... Uh, the Fiora goes all the way to the top. The bottom First right, blood bottom right goes all the way to the top. That Fiora ended up, you know, following Caleb trying to get that. And first then blood. the the one you put there goes in the second. The bottom one goes second. And then the bottom one goes third. And the bottom goes fourth. There you go. Nice. Oh. All right, we got those in order for you guys. Uh, Sima will take the first blood, like like Reese mentioned. Um, and we're going to be looking back towards that bot lane. Oh, we will see a nice little stun hit on the... Or a slow. Slow, technically. I don't think it's a stun. Uh, we will see that hit off the Seraphine. So, here's the thing about the jungle, right? Um, Caleb tried to invade red side, and Fiora called him out on it. We ended up getting first blood from that, and that's really good for Caleb. He's going to have lane dominance again. But, 
at this point he's down two camps in farm which is a lot for a jungler and Nidalee has been taking his farm. Yeah. She just so took another camp. So you so do see Caleb on the map. He's invading Nidalee's jungle. Yep. Um, but two camps is anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute that he's going to have to catch up on. Yep. So either Nidalee making a bad play and dying, or um, I, he'll have to make that farm up eventually because just to stay on with It just feels really items. bad because she took his farm. He yep. is taking hers and like back. However, if anyone comes for him, he's most likely he's dead. He's in their jungle yep. for sure. So it feels really bad that he doesn't have most of his farm to fall back onto. Yeah. So, so how's the jungle doing uh, coming from Ish Isher 2? Uh, basically doing fine. Uh, went for a big play, got shut off, but uh, he'll he'll make the farm back up in no time. I'm he also, again, about it. also that was the reason First Blood went over towards Simo. Because of Caleb, though. Yep. So he made the play on First Blood. Uh, we will see the pretty – yeah, I think we trade here. Um, yeah, so that's that's a big trade, Caleb. So we will see a uh, little advantage early off that Ornn. Not only is Orn up 2-0 on the Fiora, but he's only going to get beefier. Yep. He's going to be he's a beefy burrito up there. He's, he's got not taking kills. damage anymore. We'll see ya. And here's the thing, right? Another passive for Orn is that he can build items in lane. Doesn't he have doesn't, to lead lane. Yeah, he doesn't have to leave to go back to the store to buy items like everyone else does. He can literally sit there in lane for a few seconds and buy items there. Yep, so he not only will that mean, but he'll also never miss uh, his wave if he doesn't have to. Yeah, so um, right now he pushes He's his crashing lane. the wave so he can back and get health. He wants his health. Though. Um, But... Yeah, that's going to be really nice in those situations where he needs to stay in lane to dominate that lane presence. Um, I don't see Fiora catching up in farm anytime soon. So, Shaco did actually start Spell Thieves, which is a support item for uh, mages and like anyone who's trying to do AP damage. Okay. Um, so, it's not going to be an AD. However, Shaco support, uh, supports in general just don't get a lot of money. And trying to build an AP champion, like where you do a lot of AP damage mm -hmm. uh, from the support role, takes a long time. So, if Simo can end the game before Shaco gets built up, the only AP threat, again, like I said, is going to be to the middle E, and it's going to be from her spear. Spicy things are happening in the mid lane. Both, both mid laners trying to go in back and forth on each yeah. other. Seth, I don't think, followed up on that and actually got the kill because he ran out of mana. Alright, so we will see uh, Caleb really shoving in this, uh, this top wave, really dominating his wave presence against this Fjord, not letting her have an inch of space up here. Um, Although he also has the Elderwood skin, which is such a good or skin. <laughs> I wanted to. I wanted to Skins know that. get wins, baby. Skins get wins. That's a good skin. If nurses are real life supports, who is the ADC? Uh, Wait. If nurses uh, are supports uh, in real life, who's the ADC? Is I don't that know. Like, uh, I don't know. I would say probably like the doctors or like surgeons. I don't know. That's a very strange question. I don't, I don't, I don't really get that at all. But that's maybe okay. We don't have to. Like we Yasuo will see the pick on the Silas, or the Silas will pick the, pick the Yasuo. One. We'll pick the Fiora. That's a three for one fight. Uh, putting Silas ahead 2 0. Uh, putting they really Warren wanted, ahead 3 0. They really killed Jarvan, like Caleb on the Jarvan there. And they dove for it. But they ended up, you know, not Running seeing the rest yeah, of everybody else. They didn't realize that. Kid is going to get exhausted here. It's literally not going to matter. We're going to see a counter. A counter slow from the Seraphine, and Ken is going to get a nice little fry on the Shaco. Shaco's going to have to back under tower and pop a pot. Um, pop a pot. That's a, pop that's a, a funny pot. phrase. Pop a pot. Um, so we are going to see Silas shoving a fat wave in under tower here. He's got um, definitely going to start working on that tower. Um, this is this is looking nice. We do uh -oh. see a Nidalee coming in. Uh -oh. We definitely will see that's a Seraphine a, squishy. Ooh. So is Kenna, though. Ken is going to see a flash of that. We are going to see an exhaust from Seraphine. Seraphine's going to do all she ult. can to peel this. Uh, yeah, Seraphine doesn't isn't six yet, so Kenna will go down to the Nidalee three 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 v two gank. Um, we will see Jarvan kind of hanging back, clearing his Krugs. It looks like so we are gonna see Nidalee maybe pressure this or at least counter dive on the Seraphine. Um, but I think I think we've at least seen there. the Nidalee now. So if, um, if Jarvan can collapse, he doesn't have a lot of health, but he does have Seraphine. We are gonna see this this Nidalee continually trying to keep the Seraphine. Chandler here. just wants to leave and literally back just and he let just me can. back. <laughs> She's just waiting. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, okay. there's there that big go. spear damage. Dodge we will spear, see. A, we win. are going to see a TP in on bot lane. Orn's going to come down. He's going to try and catch out a couple. He will knock up the the Shaco. They are going to get a pick on that. Easy. He's Literally got free. We are going to see Nidalee. Can, can, oh, they will see a counter pick on the Jarvan, but we will see this Nidalee. We should see this Nidalee. Oh. Yeah. There's a tower shot. That will and that kill like will that, go to Orn. Orn has five so Orn's kills. Five and zero oh in the top lane. Um, unluckily, we do see the Jarvan go down, but um, Nidalee is really not that. A couple farm down two kills is is feels bad, but he does have four assists, so he's not completely out and about yet. Um, big Orn coming inbound though, five and zero, oh, um, and a two and zero oh Silas in that mid lane. So we have we have some nice. Carries. I'd like I was gonna say I'd like to point out uh, Silas has two kills, 
and the Yasuo has one death. I don't remember Yasuo ever being anywhere. Yasuo was in that fight we oh, saw in, in blue. In okay, blue, so he was uh, part of the jungle. Gold. Okay. Can I get a Seth Pog? Absolutely. Seth, Seth is very Pog. Pog. Huge Seth Pog right now. Ready, Pog. Yeah, so we are going to see a little bit of a lane swap here. Um, Seth's going to go up and fight in this top lane, and we're going to see Orin dealing... Honestly, not even really responding mid, but just kind of hanging out, waiting for this dragon. Um, kind of being that tank presence that Kenna and Seraphine need. You mentioned that they're both a lot squishier than their previous champions, and so um, I think positioning Seth, who can kind of solo fight up against the Fiora top lane, and letting getting a tank closer to these, these engagements is going to help him out a lot. Not only that, but he's got a really fast wave clear, and so um, keeping this wave crashed in on this Yasuo is going to keep Yasuo busy the entire time keeping yep. those off his tower. So it's very good, very good play by uh, Simo, simply because Yasuo is not going to be able to kill an Orn like this. Yep. Uh, and Seth, he can, you know, he can start popping off against this not so great. Or, or Fiora. minimally, he just is is neutral with the yeah. Fiora, but that means Fiora's not getting kills, yep. and that means Yasuo's not getting kills, yep. and that's two huge factors that are going to keep this game in our hands. Definitely, because we're up two thousand gold at this point. So by the time first break is ready to take Big ult coming on on from Kenna. She's gonna go for that Shaco. Not gonna completely fry him, um, but does do a lot of pressure um, in that bot lane. We will see Nidalee just kind of farming up her jungle. Chand Chandler ulted there, and I'm kind of curious as to why. He might have thought that the Shaco when he went invisible was, was starting still to go there. towards Kenna. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it, it missed by quite a bit. So at the end of the day, though, it kept it kept uh, both of them safe, and so. Um, <laughs> well, I say that, but now we see him a little bit of a collapse, but I think they make, yeah, they make it out of that okay, so. Uh, they do see the Nidalee, they have that bush warded, so they are going to try and, oh, Kinnily dodges that nice little target. We there are going to see Jarvan engage. We're going to see this Nidalee definitely get flash. picked she out. Flash. She oh, yeah, she can't she flash out of a Jarvan ult there. We'll see you later. She had a she, flash and she didn't use it. I don't know what she's doing. I think she knew she was caught out. You just save it Nidalee for throwing, Nidalee throwing. Yikes. All right, so we will see a big pick on that Nidalee. Uh, that will let Jarvan get another assist, and that will feed a kill to Kenna. I think Kenna. he's just doing Dragon right now. Yeah, uh, I, I mean, would, he can just solo Dragon there. Nobody's, the other, nobody the other can pressure him. Gone, so yeah. there's no smite threat. Nobody can pressure him there, really. Kenna, Kenna and Chandler are doing a great job keeping attention on them. We will see a, Seraph, or, um, a Samira ult. Not, doesn't kill anybody. It will kill the um, it will kill Chandler before he goes down. Kenna will get the Samira, but then I the think Kenna will also trade. Did yeah, through, yeah, didn't through. get all these. And then we will Good see lane, Silas though. jumping in, killing that Yasuo again. Uh, Nidalee versus Jarvan. She's going to miss her spear. Jar uh, Jarvan does get killed before being able to pull over to yeah, his... Yeah, he didn't get the... He got the flag down, not the drag. Lance, I guess? I guess he plays with the Lance, right? Uh, it's a standard, actually. A it's what? a flag. A standard is what they oh, call it. Oh, so, oh. The we, got, we got big, standard. big uh, yeah. Jarvan guy here. No, I don't play Jarvan. I just, Casters, I just what is war. your favorite 2000s song? Misery Business by Paramore. I'll just double what he said. Absolute banger. That will put me in the best mood of my life. I actually don't pay attention to like song titles or like artists. I just I just know it by the music. So like something comes on, I'm like, I love this song, and they're like, all right, what's it called? And I'm like, no idea. Uh, I feel that. Burr. Uh, that playlist we listened to one time on stream called Windows Down 2000s Alternative. Every song <laughs> on that is just an absolute banger. Such a feels good song. It's it's a great playlist. So check it out. But yes, Mr. Business, Paramore, absolute banger. All right, chat. Uh, farm wise, we're looking pretty spicy. Up 20 farm top lane. Only down 10 now, so pretty. Uh, Jarvan's doing a good job closing that farm gap. Uh, Silas is up 10 in the mid lane. Ken is up 20 in the bot lane. So, um, very, a very typical of a Simo game is we're going to be leading in farm. We are going to see a gank into this Nidalee. We will see Yasuo picking. Oh, actually, no, we'll see Nidalee picking Nidalee up a picking double up kill in that mid lane. Um, that is not what you want to see if you're on the side of pickaxes. For sure. Nidalee falls off pretty hard, and yeah. like she can do a lot of like explosive damage, so like 100 to zero. Mm -hmm. But it depends on her spear. So if the spear misses, she can't really do anything. Yeah, yeah. Yasuo she have can, a lot of you know, keep, keep going in the fight. Yasuo's got a lot of dive. And he cool. also, like, he scales very well into the late game. <laughs> so the fact that he's not getting any kills right now, and he's down in farm, yeah, not good yeah. for him at all. She should have probably tried a little bit harder to feed that kill to uh, to the Yasuo. For sure. Either of them, yeah. yeah. All right, so we will see un unlucky pick there, but really that doesn't put Yas that doesn't put Silas down at all. That doesn't really put Jarvan down. Um, while the Jarvan is 0, 4, and 5, that's still a great stat line because those five assists means he's fed other lanes. Not only that, but he doesn't need to be the big game player because we have other people doing that now. We will see Kenna ult. Kenna will take down the Samira. Kenna will go down to the Shaco. Um, this Shaco is doing a really good job of at least getting one before the Samira dies. Yep. Uh, we will see Seth dying in, try the Dragon Pit. We will see Chandler flashing away. Orin's going to turn on Ooh. the Nidalee. Orin Chandler will knock the Nidalee up. The we will see the Orin ult coming the Orin out. Ult, Bonk. 
Oh, we will Picking see it. Picking his targets very nice. We'll, we'll target the Nidalee. Snipes the Nidalee. Fjord just cannot do enough damage but to this man to matter. The 0 and 2 Yasuo, I will yeah, point out. Yeah, he's he is a fifth of the way to his power spike. His 0 and Bonk. 10 power spike. <laughs> 0 and 10 power spike. Yes, yes, inbound. So not only does uh, Miriam take out the Nidalee, which is a great pick on their only carry, uh, but he <laughs> maintains most of himself, maintains wave presence, and then just lets he just, just keep going. He's gonna fight still. So. Uh, he's an absolute powerhouse, 7 and 0. Has his frostfire, has his plated steel caps. He's a beefy boy. Behind, behind the the setup, you can kind of see oh, like half the chat, and all you, all I see is the enemy Nidalee just ping the 700 gold like bounty on yep, top of Orange yep, Head. Yep. She is so sad that she died to him, and she's like, she we need to shut yeah, this guy yeah, down. This dude has so much gold. We need to. It's a good slow off a of Chandler. Gonna hit hit him with a nice little Q action there. Uh, keeping him out, keeping that Shaco at that range. Arms distance for sure is important. Chandler's, Chandler's really doing a great job face checking that bush with his E. Just, hey, shoot it in there. Shaco's probably in there. Probably slowed by that. Um, we can go in on that. We are going to see Seth pressuring off this Fiora again. Um, doing a great job keeping her off of his wave. Uh, so we actually haven't seen a tower fall yet. Uh, 14 minutes in, no towers is kind of weird. Ooh. Um, not to say that this game has been even, but it's definitely been a lot more even. Uh, with lane pressure, we haven't seen one lane just completely fall through um, in a that long time. That might be about to change. So they dropped see, the Herald bot lane. We do see a Herald coming bot lane, and we do see a Ooh, prediction also, also coming in. There is, is a prediction TP? inbound chat. No, that is not so. Is that Orn? Orn TP bot? Yeah, Orn TP bot. Things are not looking well. Oh, unlike, oh, nearly we'll get sniped by the tower. Orn will come in. Orn's going to knock up that shit. We'll three. slow that Shaco. Let's see if we can make it a three for three. We'd like to make this trade even. Harold oh, did not actually end the tower, so first tower still gonna fall. Still, still up. That's huge. However, it looks like it's about to fall mid, simply because Yasuo has all the pressure he wants because of the orange TP yeah, bot to yeah, try yeah. to save bot lane. So they will take the first tower. Unlucky, but uh, fortunately for you guys, chat, that was not our first prediction. So second dragon's actually our, our prediction coming in down. You guys have 10 seconds remaining on that. Make sure you get your votes casted for that. Uh, so we will see Orin putting a lot of pressure on this bot tower while he's down here. Um, we will see Jarvin yoinking his uh, blue buff and his his frog. What's the frog's name? A gromp. It's, it's called a gromp. Yeah, gromp. Yeah, All right, yeah. that was close. That was close. Uh, so they will take two towers off of that, but um, again, not super worried about that. Uh, we we've been kind of been kind of dominating this uh, this game so far. So one bad fight doesn't end the game. Currently, Simo's up. You know, five six hundred gold. Like I said, it's it's about a thousand minimum. For there to be do we get an X press to see uh, who's who's rocking that gold? So we do see uh, Orn with a 3k gold lead. Uh, <laughs> Nidley does have a 2k gold lead over our jungler. Uh, Seth and Yasuo about even. Uh, Kenna up on the 400 gold on the Samira, and then Chandler and Shaco even. So um, obviously the, the lanes where we're leading are the lanes we're leading. Um, Orn's just a big son of a son of a gun right here. So he's about to hit a th nice nice little 3k ult. Um, Unfortunately, That's a double kill. Kenna we will see Kenna, with, Kenna with a nice little ult to, to space him off, or, off of Caleb, keeping Caleb alive. Um, by this point, I do think that is a good play to keep Caleb alive. Yep, um, no point in feeding that shotgun Donald if we don't have to. Doesn't matter. Doesn't though. matter. He's, he's going to go right back in the in. fight. He's, he's literally half health again. Uh, we're, we are going to see them pinging to go chase this Nidalee down. Um, I don't know if they're going to want to fight Dragon with Nidalee being alive, just because technically... Nilly could steal a dragon pretty yeah. easily. Smite and a fat spear yeah, coming in. That spear, could that could be um, could be a pretty bad look. Uh oh. Ooh, so we will see Shaco coming back. Um, we will see Chandler hit the slow on his way out. Ooh, um, that's the spear snipe we were talking about. Yeah. Nilly yep. flashes away from the orn knockout. She still We do see a, a red smite coming down from the Jarvan trying to stop this Nidalee. Nilly's just gonna make her way off. She will take a tower. Sh a two tower shots. This is three, three tower, tower shots. Tower. Sheesh, Luis. That was very unnecessary. Uh, I think we will see Simo recontest his dragon. It's only two people in the dragon, one being Shaco, who's half health. Ken is going to smite, shoot out that turret, or not turret, wow, the ward. Um, and we're going to reach. Orn's going Orn's gonna to peel this fight for us. He's going to dive in the fight, getting away from that Fiora. Fiora gets absolutely blasted to half health off the rip. Uh, we are going to see Seth diving in, but he will go down to Yasuo. Caleb's going to turn into a fight. I don't think he's going to make it out of this one alive. Yeah, he will get shut down by the Shaco. So Shaco gets that huge gold feed. 
um, which isn't not who you want. The, the, yeah, the, the, so the, the that was a four for one on the side of the, the pickaxes. We did end up getting the dragon. However, the only person we still have left alive is the it's support. Sarah. Uh, and that's really not what you want. This kind of gives sure. pickaxes, you know, free, free picks in the priority. map. Yep. yep. So you see them, they're pushing in mid. They're going to take this bot turret. Top turret's, uh, top turret already fell a while ago, mm -hmm. and they don't have a lane pushing up, so they're probably going to just shove mid even harder. Yep. And they actually make the decision to take these crooks here, which again means that Caleb cannot, and he's going to have to go somewhere else Caleb's to farm gonna, and actually Caleb's going to be down that 15 farm. Um, almost, not semi-permanently, but definitely for the next good 5 to 10 minutes yep. because of that. Um, so they they do get bot tower. They already had mid. They already had top. Um, luckily, that's all the pressure we saw them play. Um, that could have been a lot worse. We do have a new prediction up, by the way, chat. Um, I believe it is next dragon, which spawns in three minutes. So you guys have plenty of time to vote on this one. Um, why can I vote on it? I want to vote. I don't know. Uh, simply said, I'm just saying can't predict. I think that's because you're a mod. Oh, like this. Oh, mods can vote on it now. Okay. All right, let me. Harold is probably going to go down. Without, you know, any sort of contest. good, good uncontested Harold. You uh, love to see that. That is going to help Simo uh, regain their their lane presence. Um, if you get two or three people in a lane, that's you know got one. You're going to you're going to guide that Harold yep. in. That's a free Harold. Um, the top lane no health. Bottom lane no health. Mid lane's the one that has the most health still, uh, but that's also where everybody's basing out. So I'm not sure if we'll see this pulled here or if we'll. Um, kind of wait and see that scene to an even lane or an un, un, uneven, uncontested lane. Oh, yeah, well, let's go, Simo. In the hey, chat. let's go. Love to see it. Love to see can, it. Can we? Can we get that? Uh, can we? Can we turn this into a copy pasta? Can we get it? Uh, yeah, we need some chat. chat. We need some. More what energy. we haven't had all day is some freaky fast, freaky fresh spam. <laughs> it is like a library in this chat. Let's freaking get it popping. I need to see some high energy from you guys right now. That is not a kill we wanted. Yasuo would house four kills. Uh, the only one copy pasting is, uh, is Jack right now. Imagine. Oh, and now, now Zach's getting now on the action. Now also Zach's getting right, in there. Right. Nice. Uh, uh, we need some more, guys. Yasuo's, we need some more Yasuo's hitting his little 3K kill, 3K death spike. Ooh, Kayla, or Jarvan will go down there to the Nidalee again. Nidalee's up 12-5. Find the spear and you're pretty much toast. Yep, yep. That, that spear hits like a truck. Um... What are our win conditions right now? All right, right now we have dragons stacking in our favor. Uh, if we can get sold before they can do anything, that spirited half a can has health, by the way. Oof. Uh, so if we can if we can keep dragon control, uh, that can definitely lead into other things. We have the herald right now, so what I'd like to see is uh, hold on to it for the next two minutes while dragon spawning. Drop the herald somewhere else, either bot lane or mid lane, and then like, get a free tower. Yeah. Gotcha. Because because they have to respond to that herald, otherwise someone like Caleb can just walk in there and just take the tower and yep, keep the herald yep. going into keep the it next trucking. tower. Yep, yep. And it's just going to be free towers for us. They don't want that, so they're going to have to like you know separate their forces. Either yeah, take yeah. take the herald or take the dragon. Or we're going to have an uneven fight for dragon, yep. which is huge. So, so. I, lo I love that. Um, it definitely looks like that's what they're doing because Caleb still has his um, his rift herald. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we see him peel off and go pop this herald pretty soon. Um, but the thing is, with him having it, he's also going to have to be the one at Dragon. Otherwise, we have an unsmiteable Dragon. They really want this Nidalee. She has I mean, yeah, kill. she's huge. She she's 12 and 5. We definitely need that Nidalee to die. <laughs> I don't know if Caleb's going to get... Jarvin will get the pick there on the Nidalee. That's, that's a big definitely. shutdown. That's a lot of gold in his pocket. Uh, we will see a double off, pick there. Silas will get the pick on the Yasuo. Uh, that will be a 5... A, a, a 0 for 2 fight on uh, Simo's side. However, Fiora has been putting in work top lane. Fiora's almost map, into her almost, way yeah, into the, the base. In, into base. Uh, we will likely see somebody back. Yeah, two people are going to back and go go uh, respond to her. Caleb's going to do Caleb things and just tank out his way into this front tower, making a nice little dive on that on that Samira, chunking down her health little by little. Does Fiora die here? That is the question. We got the turret. We that's, might that's we might see a we might see a little fight here. If, if, if Orno quit fighting, we'll yeah, get. Yeah, yeah. Simo's going to try to go. It must, looks like Simo's going to recollapse on this Fiora, not let her out of this fight. Um, they're not going to let her get caught out. She's too deep. Why are we still... Okay, there it is. So we will see her get super slowed. Caleb's going to get stun get her stunned. Jarvan's going to try and dive in. Fiora's going to get a lot of health back, though. Fiora doesn't have any mana, though. Yeah, Neither she's Caleb. super over, out of mana. Yeah, yeah, both so top laners are out of both, mana. Both dive think. champs are not going to have enough yeah. mana to continue that fight. So Fiora will make it out. Uh, she did take top turret um, inside of base. Um, and there's a pretty fat wave, uh, red wave crashing in that top side. So we're going to have to see somebody respond to that if we want to see that. Um, here's that, here's to push a back drop mid. Let's see if they respond to that and if Simo can actually gain control of Drake. So Simo's not going to uh, drive that Herald in. They're just going to let it fight out and how it fights. 
um, which maybe not be the best case. I don't know if they'll think it, it's enough of a um, a, d a danger that they need to respond to. Well, it. right now Fiora has backed. Uh, she she has TP if she needs. She's it. TPing into that yeah, uh, into say. that bot ward, so, so we actually will see a five v five here still. This is a very precarious fight. Um, basically, started. whoever dies first will give the, a very unfair advantage um, to their team, which means Nemo that we has might... very good uh, Drake control right now. However, Kenna does take half of her health because he's really screwed. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know if we'll be able to peel enough to keep uh, this team out of the fight. That is oh, a big that's, that's combo. Huge. Just kidding. That's Seraphine so huge. Seraphine into MF triple. Bolton. Seraphine into MF into Orn into into Jarvan. That's that's a huge fight. That's you see three health bars right now, but that's, one of them's fake. One's a clone. So yeah. That one that just exploded it wasn't an actual kill. And Caleb won't go down to this fight with his <laughs> 400 gold. Gets all of his health back. That that's, was very well played by Simo. So huge. That is why you know you see someone like Kenna playing MF even though she doesn't normally. Yep. You pick the you pick the Seraphine. Her ult plays so well. Yeah. Yeah. With, it's oh, oh brother, that is a freaking Ugh. dime. That oh there goes Kenna's health. All right. Well, that's why you don't let Nidalee get 13 kills. But also yeah. that's how Nidalee gets 13 normally, kills. Normally she yeah. shoots freaking rockets. I was gonna right say now. normally she falls off pretty hard because like all of her damage is from her spear. Yeah. yeah. But this Nidalee has not missed the spear. Not absolute in sniper right now. Yeah. Literally, huge sniping. Uh, so we are going to see them back and <laughs> get all their freaking health back. Uh, but we're definitely turning this game around. Um, even it up kill-wise. Gold-wise, Simo's now leading. We are down in two towers, but we're up three dragons. Yeah, so um, mid-tower tier two fell. I'm assuming that was from the, the Herald. Yeah. Because no one responded to that. So that, that's what, that's that play Herald, I was talking Herald about floats. earlier. You know, Herald can go do whatever it wants. Yep. Simply yep. because they wanted to go uh, react to us taking dragon. And that didn't even work. So yep. very well yep. played by Simo. W, that was a great play there. Um, that allowed us to have that five-man fight we needed to in Dragon Pit. And then, of course, that sweet combos from all of our ults um, played out right. wonderfully. Seraphine's out of position. Um, Seraphine's going to get caught out a little bit. Caleb's going to try and keep this Fiora off of her back. The Nidalee Spear, though, will come in. So he'll flash out. Yeah, he'll go down to the Nidalee. Um, I think we're in a bad, we're looking bad here. Jarvan's going to get out. I think Orin can tank a little bit enough, but that Fjord is really on his case. That's a very um, good zoning ult. That's a great, right that's a great Blast Cone that and actually the lets them kill the Fjord. Fjord took him with him. Takes the Fjord with him. Going to get a kill there. Silas is going to jump in, try and get that Shaco. Silas is going to, Orin's going to get caught out, but Samira's going to waste her ult on a one person ult. Um, not a huge fight there. Caleb's going to make his way back and back. Um, Seth's looking to, they're, they are going to demand dominance over this, ba this Baron, but I don't know they can take this. Um, at least uncontested. We do have Jarvan up still. We still have Silas up. Um, the potential there to get in this fight, or at least cancel Baron, um, Baron buffs in the after fact is is pretty big. Can you uh, can you check gold real quick? Yeah. So if you look, everyone's around eight thousand, nine thousand gold. Nidalee, however, is at twelve and a half. But Orn is leading her. In yep, gold, I was actually. gonna say. It doesn't matter because we have an Orn with lots of items, yep, yep. and the rest of our team is around nine to ten thousand. Yeah. So that's that's that gold be working for us. You can see the item differences. Uh, the so only the only CS uh, advantage that they have is in that jungle, which we knew they were gonna have off yep. the rip. Um, and then obviously the amount of kills she has is also feeding into that gold that gold stack. So here's the thing though, right? Since we're up by this much, if you if you get to pick on this Nidalee, especially since she's the jungler, you have whatever objective you want. Yep. Yep. Free objective, no smite. Um, and that's a vast majority of their damage is unfortunately stuck on the same champion Because you could have a good fighter or you could have somebody dominating objectives But because it's the same person you you're gonna lose one of those abilities yep. So stout says the only number we largely hold over them right now is drakes. Yeah, three to zero drakes is a lot They have to fight us at this next drake. Otherwise yep. we get soul uh, What is it is a wind soul or is it? Fuck. Uh, I don't know. I can't I can't tell right now. It's not up oh, it's right here all right, infernal. infernal. So soul. lots and lots of extra damage, and your first basic attack after a while uh, does like explosive damage, and it's really big. Uh, that was a very Seth nice. Seth a big pick. pick on the Nidalee there. That's yeah. a free objective. That's like, literally Baron right now. Yeah, that free objective like Reese barren. mentioned. They, there's nothing they can do to contest this. Um, Still have Orin kind of you know. Playing Orin's, guard Orin's dog. Pe yeah, Orin's peeling really hard. He can he can eat so much damage right here. It's and not he even says, funny. My blast go. He'll blast into the into the pit to help out, and he'll make sure that he peel off well. Uh, but nobody in there's really got enough out burst damage to, to really contest a smite. Yeah, that's a free smite for Caleb. Caleb will take his his Baron, um, and then they have a minute to reposition for this this Soul Point Dragon. Um, Nidalee will just now starting to spawn, so they'll have a full five v five for this next fight. Um, but with a Baron buff, that's also going to be a lot of lane presence they're going to have to respond to. We're now into those tier two towers. 
Um, and so that's going to cause some issues for them. That's really going to start pushing those waves in our favor. Yep. Uh, right now, bot lane is pushed into our tier two. So we're going to have to send someone down there to actually take care of that. Uh, especially right before Dragon. You know, you can see there's 35 seconds. If we have the lane pushed up, that just means there's even less space for them to, you know, work with. Less space, but also we have Baron buff recalls. Yep. So everybody goes, pushes your wave in, backs, and resets for Dragon. Yep. That's a perfect timing. Um, we see, we're seeing, we saw Silas do it top lane. That top lane's not crashing. We saw it mid lane, and we're seeing Kinna finish that off yep. mid. She's just gonna walk up and play ready for this. Um, we're gonna see Chandler clearing those wards out with the Orn, and they're gonna, the Orn's just gonna sit there and start peeling for Dragon off the rip. At this point, uh, I think it's safe to say that if they don't end up getting this Dragon, like if Simo gets this Dragon, unless they throw huge. a huge fight, I think that's game. Uh, can we get a zoom out? This is about to be a fat team fight. We're gonna see a double knock up here for an early pick pre Dragon. We'll see the, the Yasuo go down to the Jarvan. Jarvan's going to get a nice pick off that. We're going to see some Silas. We're going to see the Shaco get... Oh! Shaco, Shaco will make it out alive. That was a fake Shaco. But we will see Kenno uh, ulting in on this. Samir to keep Samir out of the fight. That, that is soul point. Bar, that was yep. the explosion Deleted. you get from. Deleted. That's the explosion you get from the soul. So yeah. lots more damage. Infernal soul hits. Samir is going to get caught out of place. We're going to see Jarvan chasing down this Nidalee. Uh, the turret, the, literally the, 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 minions the minions are literally are doing, doing as much oh, damage no. on her. Jarvan's going to dash forward. Jarvan's going to catch out a nice gore drinker. Another ace. Yeah, there Jarvan it smokes it. Double there ace of the game. Is, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not drinking another Red Bull. I will be up all night. <laughs> but if anybody else wants to drink a Red Bull, you're welcome to it. That's another ace for Simo. Another team kill. Two games in a row. Two Big aces in action. A row. That's two, two souls in a row. Let's get it. I don't know if we end off this, but we're definitely going to take If, if some, they come at us one at a time, like they died, and we kill them one at a time, we end yeah. it. If, yeah. they, if this Yasuo stays back and plays smart and waits for his we'll team. We'll get back out in yeah. position. So we definitely get two inhibs off of this though, as long as we transition mid. Yeah, yeah that's what they're doing. Yeah, huge. So that's very smart. That inhibs are inhibs are so important. It gives you super minions in your waves in that lane. Big boys. The fact that we have two lanes now with super minions, it's go it's a lot to deal with. They're that's going to have someone they they have to have someone in their base at all times. That's that's two lanes they almost have to constantly respond to, like you yep. mentioned. Those those super minions are so much harder to kill. Yeah, uh Kenna, huh, what wonder are you why Kenna's in, in the chat. Kenna, aren't you supposed to be playing Kenna, right now? You're killing wink, Red Buff wink. right now. What are you doing? Literally, yeah, Kenna, come on, Kenna. Nah, what are you she's doing? just such a gamer. Lol. She can she can be playing League and chatting at the same Duh. time. Kenna's a big second monitor, <laughs> big two monitor. So yeah, we will see uh, Simo positioning up for this top turret. They're looking to push in for third inhib. Uh, really, for, a force to be reckoned with with these super minions spawning. Um, right now on the map, you can see that the, the super minions are about past the tier two turret. Don't know um, what the shake looks like. We will see Seth pull his Zanyas. We will see Kenna ult. Kenna will go down to the, uh, the Nidalee, but it's not going to matter. Uh, watch me. I throw right here, lol. LOL. Yeah, Kenna, Kenna, Kenna pulled died. the ult, but it doesn't matter. We will Another see the third ace. ace. Sheesh. Absolutely feels good. You're welcome for the uh, gifted sub. I, I was actually random. I didn't intentionally give it to you. Nah, but he that's, did. That's, that's pretty pod that it got it, to it you, though. It subs for dubs, Kenna. Me and my homies when Kenna died. LOL. <laughs> Not like this. LOL. Sima will take. Oh! Oh, uh, that's a spectator chat. No way we don't get to see it. Click it, click it back 15 seconds and then put it back. That's what I heard you're supposed to do. Yeah, there you go. Alright, we're gonna rewatch that that nice uh, the, inhibitor uh, take. Works. Dang, Caleb took that inhibitor so good. Alright, we're gonna take this tower. Take the second tower. No way he doesn't let us go past it again. That's, that's so troll. <laughs> Give us the action. Let us see him take the third tower. Oh, we win that awesome. game, Simo. Big W's. Put us to the other screen. Let's check out these stats. Easy game. Easy 2 0. So we just beat a team that was above us, right? We did beat all a we team that was do, above us. Uh, all we got to do, like, Sheesh. at this point, the only co the only competition is a team we lost to earlier in the season, and we've grown so much from them. Grown so we're, much. We're, we've, we've got our so morale much. boost from this. Huge. Like, Absolute W's. We want a rematch, MSU. Uh, Looking at Silas, tossing out some spicy damage. Mr. Orn, of course, throwing out some spicy damage. I mean, if you never die and you can fight constantly 24-7, you are never. True. You can always do Same damage. Same rules. D-King, you show right about that. Absolutely fuego plays. Uh, that's a big sheesh in the chat. 63,000-something or others. I can't read what these charts are telling me. Yeah, there's too many pulls. Nidalee, up. though. Nidalee, hard carry. Lots of lots of damage. Hard carry. Holy. How much damage is that on the Nidalee? Can you hit the, just the one bar? That's physical. Okay, go to what was she? A hundred and forty-five thousand damage. Spear, spear machine go burn. Brother, what? That's so much. Another sticker on the microwave. Let's go. Hey, let me go put that on. Ceremoniously here. 
guys thanks for coming out in the chat i mean how many how many how many streams do you know that has an official microwave how, how many streams do you know that actually oh thank you thank you ty neldon for the subscribe uh what was i saying oh yeah how many how many other streams do you know of that has a microwave on chat hey like, reese since you joined us today you oh, get the honor oh, of get slapping the honor on the microwave slapping right on there the microwave. I peeled. I peeled it. I pre-peeled it. I had it. I had it out for him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that application chat. Sticker number three on the playoff microwave. Absolute W. They had me sweating at the start. Hey, you know what? Simo's a clutch it was, team. It was, it's that's like all we do is clutch duel. it out. They, they, they're doing it for our entertainment. They, they are. That's, that's what Rocket League told us last night after they won their game yep, in overtime. Yep. They said, you know what? We're doing it for the content. Simo Esports League of Legends team heard the same thing. You know, they did. They did it for the content. So. Absolute W's all around. Ty with the tier sub. Appreciate that, my guy. Nearly yeah, 1v9. That nearly was my pants, 1v9. Literally. That, was, that was crazy. Those spears hurted. Yeah. Bad. No, hurted like, bad. So here's the thing about Nidalee spears, right? The longer they go, the more damage, more damage they it do. does. True, so, true, true. The fact that there was one point in the game where Nidalee was like point blank against the Seraphine. She threw a spear and it did two thirds of Seraphine's power. If she was farther away, I think that I think, I think that kills her. Just a hundred to zero from one spear, dude. So. dude I, I'd be so mad. Yeah, she actually couldn't miss. I, right? Literally, literally. It was nuts. Nuts. So great game overall. Can't wait to see Simo playing off in the uh, quarterfinals next week, next Wednesday, likely. The quarter or semi? Oh, this was quarterfinals. This is semi, and then quarter. Quarter is four. Ah, Semi's okay, eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight, four, two. Yeah. So next week is quarterfinals. Uh, no, it's not. This is Ha! I was right. Chat, why does that make sense? <laughs> or games. Or... Oh, it's based on games, not on teams. Okay, so uh, this was quarters. We labeled it wrong, then. We put semis on the graphic. Um, I think that's oh, okay, well... Raleigh just I can't know. read tournament yeah. brackets, then. This has been Not Reading with Raleigh. Tune in Y'all clapped week. tonight. Absolutely W's. At, literally clapped. Yeah, like, no, good job. Like, Simo, clapped. Simo League, let's go. That was spicy. I loved watching that. So... Catch y'all next week for League. Tomorrow we have Overwatch making their debut in playoffs. Uh, looking for a nice W. We actually played the team we played last week, um, but we'll have our full roster here. So hopefully for a big W. Uh, we held we held it close, and so we're looking for a big W inbound. Um, but we're already three W's up, as you can tell, the playoff sticker microwave sticker. Playoff mic sticker microwave. Uh, so I'm excited. My, my brain's not working anymore. That It's the Red Bull getting to him. You guys got me for two hours of good brain, and that's about it. So my brain's toast after that. So uh, we'll see you later. See you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.